Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. It says, Has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad, keep sharing on Facebook, keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. Yes, my sweetheart, she celebrated her birthday. Come, let me give you a big kiss. Come on. I told you, you can kiss children and old women. If you are truly born again, we're going to sing happy birthday to her. How many years? Five. <laughs> Some of you, when you were five years, you were not even talking. They thought something was wrong with you. Later, he started saying, Baba, ba, at age seven. <laughs> Hallelujah. Are you ready? I'm singing a birthday song for you. When they are done, we're going to sing. You must sing. Are you ready now? Sing. Happy birthday. How old are you now? How old are you now? I am five years old. I am five years old. I am five years old. May your children be as intelligent as this. Hallelujah. We pray for her in the name of Jesus. She will be a great and mighty woman of God. In the blessed name of Jesus Christ, I pray. It's between me and her, none of your business. Bless her, appreciate her. Hallelujah. She told me something. It's none of your business. Praise God. It's good to see everyone. Hallelujah. Matthew 5. Please bring out your writing materials. Let's explore the word of God. Calling us deeper, 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 deeper. It's calling us deeper, 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 deeper. It's calling me.
Hallelujah. Koinonia is not the name of a program. Please listen. The word koinonia is is the name given to the experience that God delivers unto us here. We found different ways to express this and the best theme that God gave us was koinonia. So don't get used to koinonia being the name of a program. I'm coming for koinonia as a program. I need you to know that koinonia is an experience. This is why every time we talk about koinonia, we tell you experience. Experience it. It's a real solid experience. When you experience koinonia, you do not need to tell people. They will know that you met the Lord and you are walking with him. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Koinonia means intimacy and partnership with the Holy Spirit. And I told us how that it is important to understand these things are complementary, but they are not the same. Hallelujah. Our goal in this place is to bring people to a place of intimacy with the Holy Spirit to help us understand the structure and the operation of the kingdom of heaven. Jesus left only one message with the body of Christ, the gospel of the kingdom. Hallelujah. The entire Bible from Genesis to Revelation is an attempt to convey the story and the message of a kingdom. And no matter what we become, if we do not understand the system of God's kingdom and how it operates, my passion in life, aside from helping men experience the reality of the Holy Spirit, is to bring them into a comprehension of the structure, the operation, and the principles of the kingdom. This is what we do week in, week out. Hallelujah. There is a culture we are initiating you into. There is a way of life. There is a pattern. There is an understanding. There is a mindset that you are receiving. And our success, as far as this prophetic assignment is concerned, for this season, is only realized if you are actually becoming what we are praying and laboring that you become is that true hallelujah for as long as we have crowds and people keep clapping people keep falling down getting up getting messages traveling around and the messages keep spreading that is great but are you being changed are you becoming this this epistle that we are trying to carve and chisel praise the lord I told you that this is a school there is a long curriculum of the spirit and week in week out we keep examining different aspects of the kingdom so that we can come into a comprehension it's not just for you to have rema and say oh every time you stand give me this mountain there's a message like that no no or commanding result or any of these great messages you love the goal is that you become an expression of this thing hallelujah such that wherever you go you become an envoy hallelujah grace is granted unto you to begin to reproduce the things that you have learned Acts chapter 1 said I write these things to you O excellent Theophilus of all that Jesus began to do and teach not just teach do and teach hallelujah i have spent my life helping the body of christ to understand that the kingdom of god is not a religious organization the kingdom of god is a system everybody says a system made up of a definite structure and when you understand the structure the operation and the patterns of the kingdom then you will be able to be a worthy ambassador god will now be able to empower you hallelujah praise the lord please get this i, I want you to i want to burn it into your spirit 
I want you to understand that this is what we are doing. So that you can align yourself and you can have a reference from which to gauge your spiritual progress. Is that true? If you look at where in November right now, if you look at yourself from January till now, how many principles of the kingdom do you know and understand that you can apply consistently to deliver results? If all you have done is to attend the meetings very faithfully, but you have not come into a comprehension, a knowing, a recognition, an understanding of this thing that we seek to teach, then our hearts are not fulfilled. Hallelujah. It's very difficult for believers in the body of Christ to sit down and learn and understand the principles of the kingdom. We prefer to receive. We prefer pray for me, lay hands on me, cast the devil out of me, do this and that, you know, prophesy, break through and do all of that. And that is wonderful. That's why we spend the last week of every month to minister to God's people because it's part of what we are anointed for. But I needed to understand that our pride and our satisfaction is not that you honor the meetings every Friday so that we do not come and preach to empty chairs, but that you are being transformed. You are being transformed in a way that we are seeing. Hallelujah. That's why every time I have the opportunity to bless my sweetheart, the dear lady, I love her so much because... I have seen as little as this lady is. This lady has had encounters with Jesus. She has had encounters with different kinds of people. As little as this girl is. She would be in the midst of people who are maybe playing some ungodly songs. And she will confront them. And say, Jesus doesn't like this. This is, this is a mindset. Are you getting my point? So, there is a training and because her mind is innocent, she's not received any junk from the past. So the work of her own right now is not renewing the mind. Her own is building and transformation. Are you getting me? There's, there's nothing that has corrupted and, and spoiled the spiritual genes of her mind. So it's easy for the Holy Spirit to be able to walk. This lady will grow with this ideology. Are you getting me now? And when she gets to certain levels you will see how mighty god will use her to her she's just playing she's a little girl she's just a lady who is passionate about jesus she has come to know jesus as a person she has come to honor the things of the lord there's one other little baby a prayer band baby every time i have the opportunity to come and pray with the prayer band when you come very tiny girl you just see great people praying and sweating and you see one very tiny girl also following them whenever people lift their hands you watch what they are doing and lift her hands too we call this a programming it's a mindset hallelujah if she walks consistently under that atmosphere that mindset will become a stronghold in her and no devil will take it away are you getting my point a stronghold is not a demonic word. Stronghold is whatever has held your mind captive so that you become its victim. And if that becomes the word of God and the operation of the kingdom, then you will begin to reflect Christ by default. Hallelujah. I, are you understanding me now? So as, as we seek to teach, it's important you understand that we are not just displaying new revelations. Or attempting to tell you to see the progress we are making spiritually. No. No. We are trying to unveil, to open you up to the structure and the dimensions. Just like you come into a school system. You come naive. And a lecturer keeps teaching you and building you. Is that true? Curriculum, course after course. A time can come when you can turn back and say, Kai, to an extent... I understand what I'm studying. How many of you, don't lift your hands, can turn back and say, after years and years of sitting under the word, I understand to an extent, to the level to which light has been opened unto me, I understand. There are many of us that have failed to, to discipline our spirits to come into a comprehension of this truth 
And can I tell you something? When you stay in the presence of God, you never go back neutral. You go back broken or you go back hardened. One of these two must happen to you. Are you getting me? It becomes dangerous when you are used to the atmosphere of God's presence. Because you will have that form of religion. So every time they raise the structure, you know it. Is that true? Every time they are talking about giving, you say, ah, I can't even list the scripture. But the Bible says, ever learning, but never coming into the knowledge of the truth. And that becomes a dangerous thing. Have you seen people that every time you try to correct them, you can see somebody smoking. You try to talk to him and see how he will bombard you with scriptures. He will tell you, my reverend baptized me. Even me and my reverend, we drank the same beer. Blah, blah, blah. This and that happened. And he will try to justify it. Is that true? And he will tell you, the Bible says, for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And he believes that you are supposed to be convinced. An ideology. Hallelujah. We seek to transfer a mindset. Are you receiving that mindset? Is it becoming real in your life? Because the world will test your conviction about these things we are teaching you. Is that true? You will find people everywhere. This conviction will be tested in your relationship and marriage. This conviction will be tested in your academics. This conviction will be tested in your personal life. This conviction will be tested in your job, your business, your ministry, whatever endeavor. It's not enough just to know the word of God. You must submit to the authority of that word. He said, submit yourself under the mighty hand of God. It is only on that condition that you can resist the devil and he will flee. Please, are you learning something? So if after all of the teachings that we have been teaching and teaching and teaching, and let me use, let me use one lady, come. Hallelujah. If we have been teaching on the structure of the kingdom, look at me, and this lady carries herself alive and goes to chain herself in a very bad and ungodly relationship, what, what does that tell you? It tells you that this ideology has not become spirit and life to her. Is that true? Is that true? Are you following me now? If this lady wants to get married right now, if she has been listening to the truths that we have been teaching, she will now use them as the template, the platform that informs whatever decision she's making. Is that true? Do you understand? So based on that now, God can give us a thumbs up because we are not just doing religion. Somebody is receiving this truth believing it enough to be convicted whether you are supervised or not it has become your way of life hallelujah so a non-believer can come to my sister right now and say see let's go to a party i have money is it no money you are looking for and the lady can tell him um i appreciate your interest in me but i need you to understand that i belong to a kingdom and in that kingdom we have values are you getting me and it is not within the jurisdiction of that kingdom. Many of you are saying, I beg, Jare, they'll be social. Just go, will you die? This is what we are saying. You are not convinced enough. That's why you are ashamed of it. Anything you are ashamed of has not become a solid revelation to you. Is that true? So is this word becoming spirit and light? Have you been applying it? Did you apply it last week? Did it work for you? Hallelujah. If somebody looks at my sister right now and says, you're a very stupid girl and maybe three years ago she would just remove her shoe while he's talking and use the heel of the shoe and wipe the guy's face and say, this is how stupid people behave. You see, that, that would have been the way she would behave. But right now, there is a value system you are higher than this person in understanding. There is a fellowship you have come into that grants you access to behave like Jesus Christ. And based on that understanding, 
The truth is you are human, so you'll be angry. But a scripture from the treasury of the deposits you have made in your spirit, be angry and do not sin. Do not let the sun go down while you are still angry. That scripture now ministers to you at that point. And you can look at the person and just say, God bless you. And the person is wondering. Hallelujah. Or that you see another brother who is just broke and suffering, but you know this guy's destiny is going to change. It's just that it won't change immediately. The world is working. And they send some money for you, and you remember that the Bible says, be good to all men, especially to they that are of the household of faith. And you have submitted to that word. And based on that revelation, without supervision, you must not come and give a testimony and say, I have this brother. This is to let you know that I am making progress. I'm applying what I'm being taught. No, not necessarily. But that you can come to this brother and say, my brother, I decided to buy you one tier of rice, one tier of beans, one tier of gari. Let it help you. I know the word of God is working. And by grace, I've been privileged to receive some supply and I'm helping you with it. Listen. Brothers and sisters, if people see you and they do not see the difference between you and them, you are not a real Christian. And that difference is not tongues. That difference is not revelation. That difference is a culture. It's an, it's an atmosphere. It's a lifestyle. It's a walking. You have become so solid. When you joke, you joke the word. When you talk, you talk the word. Whatever it is, even when, no matter how boring you sound, you have no option. You are being reprogrammed. And you cannot undo it. This is what you must become. Some of you still use all kinds of bad languages. You have sat down here for over two years. You didn't delete them. You only created a folder for them. And when opportunity, because in this Nigeria, you need these folders. When there is need, you dust it and bring it out and keep people where they belong. hallelujah there are many of you who do not read your bibles and you have never tried to there is nothing wrong when you have a spiritual predicament the problem is if you do not even know it is a problem and you are doing it and you are not making any efforts about it hallelujah so are you following what i'm saying if after all of these meetings now and then this lady comes she has two boyfriends somewhere one is to supply to bring supply beginning of the month this one the middle of the month then the real one that she's going to marry that she uses their money to help and support and she says wisdom even god you see see look look at me listen listen please i'm not laughing listen let me tell you something if you truly want to be a christian be a christian are you getting my point if you think you are going to play pranks and tricks i want to tell you something the bible says do not be deceived is that in your bible it said god cannot be mocked that means if if you don't receive the recompense of that mindset you have mocked god and the bible says god cannot be mocked praise the lord some of you have been giving bad advices to friends Every time there is a need to do something bad, you are the one they consult. Bible study, they don't consult you. Prayer, they don't consult you. Should we go for night vigil or not? They don't even meet you. But when there is trouble and you want to corner something, they say, go and meet this person. They will arrange everything for you. There are some of you, you are like that. The way they look at you, you just look like a crook. When they want to do anything shady, they just say, oh yeah, come. Tell that guy he's five. You say, oh yeah, I know how to do it. See you must, you must change and let people, the Bible says, let your light so shine, not before angels, before men, that they may see. The Bible wants men to see. So are you being changed? Is your mindset being changed? There are some of you that are nursing a lot of unforgiveness and bitterness against your loved ones. In spite of the teaching, we have shouted teaching on rapture, we taught on air time. What do you want us to say again to change your mind? Hallelujah. Some of you, even if we say Jesus Christ is coming tomorrow, you won't change. You say me. When, when Jesus comes, we will settle this issue. 
Whereas you know that that thing is just a cultural belief. When Jesus comes, he doesn't have time to waste on frivolities. You are going to hell or you are going to heaven. Full stop. Hallelujah. Are you being changed? That when they are doing malpractice somewhere, you know that you know how much you will do this malpractice and how it can help you. But you are constrained by your love for God. And you say, I'd rather fail honorably than do this malpractice. I know that there are many of us, you are looking at me, you are just saying, just keep talking, finish sharing the grace, let's get out of here. I know what I will believe and I know what I will not believe. Hallelujah. So if the word of God is not changing you, such that unbelievers can begin to testify that there is really something about your life. A guy just walks into your room, wants to sleep with you and say, I don't like it. What is the meaning of that? Oh, I don't do this. Oh, I'm not, I don't, I don't like things like this. You know, the, the way I am. See, I don't want to be pregnant. Is that the reason why you are afraid? Or there is more? Praise the Lord. You sit down and you watch a film, a pornographic film. You say, I'm an adult. Please, don't, nobody should make me a child. And you finish watching that film and you cannot look at the ladies around you and go in peace. You are now praying, fasting, saying, oh God, help the time you would have been using, building in your spiritual life. You just scattered the foundation and you have to start again. Praise the Lord. There are some of us who are together and you see a lot of friends. They come with their car, whether their father's car or whoever. And they say, ah, bros, are you going? They are calling you bros. And they are calling you to go and do something that is not of the kingdom. And the pressure is mounting on you. They are saying, hi, you now. Wow. And the thing is pinching you. They are saying, okay, but I will come. I won't drink. I won't smoke. Can't you say no? The Bible says the grace of God has appeared unto all men. Teaching us to say no. Are you convinced that this word can make you a leader and it can make you a great person? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. If we are achieving this, then I know that we are making progress. But if we are not achieving this, then sincerely speaking, before men, ministry may be moving. But before God, there is little effect that is, is being created. Hallelujah. Let your conviction about spiritual things be strong. I love the lady that said they brought somebody that was dead or dying. And she laid, she laid hands on the person. Some of you will join in the shout, hey, hey, at least try. If you try and it doesn't work, no problem. But let it be that among the 12 people who were lamenting, you took a step and it didn't work, no problem. God will honor you for launching out to take that step. Some of you, when you want to pray, they tell you, please, oh, this is not the issue of prayer. Because you have not been doing it. When did you suddenly become a man of God? It has not been your lifestyle. You talk the way they talk. You do everything. Suddenly, you remember one koinonia message. You drank with them yesterday. Now you want to lay hands and they say, for what? I'd rather lay hands than you. We drank together. Be different. Be different. So different that you are noted for certain things about the kingdom. And when there is a need to do certain things as far as the kingdom of God is concerned, you become the reference point. This is transformation. And this is what this teaching is all about. And then at that point, God will empower you to demonstrate the reality of that kingdom. You will manifest wisdom that is beyond the comprehension of men. God will bless you. Every time people see you, they know you are a leader. You must not have peers and people following you. No. There is a culture. There is a way of behavior. They are sharing food. Somebody gets, somebody is very hungry. And you are not so hungry. And that's the last meal. 
And the Holy Spirit says, give the person and you are looking. I say, no, I'm not giving any. I came, I got my, you know, all these kinds of things. Bless you. While you're seated, you are going to pray in one minute and say, Lord, I don't want to waste my time. I truly want to see transformation in my life. Lift your voice and pray. Lord, I do not just want to waste my time listening to Rema upon Rema, learning, learning all the cliches, learning all the powerful words, learning all the vocabularies, creating a form of religion without a sincere passion. There are many of us who attend at least three or four programs every week but the fruit of the transformation is not evident in our lives we still talk the way we used to talk we still behave the way we still behave there is nothing that shows that there is a culture of the kingdom working in us Ancient words ever true, changing me and changing you. We have come with open hearts, oh, and words in power. ancient words ever true changing me and changing you we have come with open hearts oh let the ancient words in one more time. Ancient words ever true, changing me and changing you. We have come with open hearts. Oh, let the ancient words impart. Open hearts, oh let the ancient words be Change me. This is always my prayer. Koinonia is about change. The symbol of koinonia in a man's life is change, transformation. 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 Let there be change. Hallelujah. I'm going to teach tonight briefly and then we'll pray. And voice of his presence. And voice of his presence. Praise the bread of life, Emmanuel, God with us, the one who saves. Praise the cup of life, that glorious spring that washes our sins away and voice of his presence Matthew 5 help us spirit of the living God he's the Holy Ghost spirit of the living You're the Holy Ghost, 
scepter of the King of Kings. You're the Holy Ghost, seal of the age to come. And voice of his presence. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Zibala kusa tapala daba. All through Scripture, we see that God's idea of the church or the believer has been to create an envoy that will communicate certain things that are in the mind of the spirit to the human race for every season hallelujah an envoy is is the highest governmental representative it's a governmental representative that is sent on behalf of a government on a mission an assignment hallelujah if we need to send certain people one of our brothers is getting married tomorrow and we're sending a few people they are envoys hallelujah whatever we stand to represent is what we want to see them promote there if we have a gift for the couple what happens we give them the gift and we trust them with that gift hallelujah with an assignment to go and deliver that gift hallelujah and there are certain people that God has anointed to be envoys of his presence. Carriers, distributors to infect territories with the presence of God. The power, the culture of the kingdom. Hallelujah. And tonight we are going to explore that understanding. Say after me, I am an envoy. Say it, I am an envoy a representative i'm an ambassador mean it from your heart say i am an envoy hallelujah matthew 5 jesus himself taught us this in chapter 5 from verse 13 he said ye are the salt of the earth but if the salt has lost its savour, with what shall it be salted he said it is thereafter good for nothing but to be cast out and to be trodden under foot of men. Ready? 14. One to read. Ye are the light of the world. Stop. He said, I am sending you as an envoy into a system that is characterized by darkness. Darkness in scripture talks of confusion, talks of death, talks of sin. Whatever does not have the charisma of God in it is darkness. And the Bible says, ye are the light. It didn't say you have the light. It said you are the light. Hallelujah. You are a city that is set, not like a city. You are a city. You have been elevated upon a hill. He said you cannot be hidden. A Christian, a walking Christian, is not just one who has given his life to Jesus Christ. It's not just one who prays in tongues. It's not just one who is in ministry. It's not just one who avoids sin. Great. All of these things are great. It's not even just ones who have rema. No. A Christian is one who has taken the mandate of the kingdom as a personal responsibility. He has come into the understanding that he's not just a son, he's not just a servant, he is an envoy. He has come into a place of kingdom responsibility. That not only have we received of God, but we have been mandated to deliver something. Hallelujah. Envoys of his presence. When Jesus walked upon the earth, the Bible says, we beheld his glory as of the one of the only begotten. The Bible says he was full of grace and truth. And everywhere he went, the Bible says how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth 
with the Holy Ghost. Is that true? And with power. And he went about doing what? He was an envoy of the goodness of God. Because God was with him. He carried the divine presence of God. And he demonstrated the reality of that divine presence. He had a culture. The Bible says every time he taught, men were astonished. They said, what wisdom is this? What authority is this? We have not seen this in this fashion. Hallelujah. When Jesus walked to you and you were sick, there will be a dramatic demonstration of the revelation of the kingdom. He went to Bethesda and saw a man who had lain there 38 years. The Bible says he looked at him and he said, uh, what did he even tell him? What was the question again? He said, do you want that I'll make you whole? And he said, there is no man that would help me. As soon as I want to move to the, to the, to the, to the waters, somebody else will jump into it. And listen, look at an envoy. He said, no problem. In other words, all this you're grumbling is not necessary. I have come, cheer up. He said, pick up your bed and go. One minute. A problem of 38 years dissolved in one minute. That is the character of an envoy. He steps into a place and begins to legislate on me. No grammar, no long story, the reality of the kingdom. Hallelujah. Charles and Francis Hunter of blessed memory. Great men and women of God. One time they had so much of the presence of God upon them. They entered a meeting and there were people on wheelchairs and they start. They, they didn't even tell any story. No prayer, no nothing. They brought an atmosphere and a culture and they demonstrated this flawlessly. 100 people, they lifted them out of the wheelchair. 100. Envoys of his presence. Hallelujah. When Naaman was afflicted, the Bible tells us in 2 Kings chapter 5 that Naaman was the captain of, 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 of Syria. He was a great and mighty man. The Bible says, but he was leprous. And on account of his leprosy, when they came and fought the nation of Israel, the Bible says they took a little slave girl. Is that true? And in the passage of time, there was one strange envoy who was a seer who does not just go out anyhow. The Bible called him Elisha. Hallelujah. And the little girl told the captain, he said, oh, that you would just follow me. There is somebody I know who can help you. And the man sluggishly said, are you serious? You don't know my situation. Hallelujah. And cut the long story short, they met the king. And listen, when the king was afraid, nobody told Elisha that the man, Elisha was watching like a television from his room. And he said, quickly, tell the king, why is your heart casted? Let him come and know that there is an envoy. That there is a prophet. This land is not barren. There are ambassadors who are alive and strong. Who will not let the powers of darkness lord it over people. God did not leave himself across this territory without a witness. He said send him to come. And when he came, Elijah did not even go out. He sent Gehazi. He said, go and tell him it's a simple case. Go and watch seven times and go back free. Ah, that simple, an envoy is speaking. There is a backing behind him. Hallelujah. One time there was scarcity and Jesus, listen, Jesus was trying to teach the disciples the mindset of being envoys. And when the people had not eaten, Jesus looked at the disciples. He said, go and give them food. Come on now, Jesus. Ah, the disciples said, no, this is not part of our ministry. Our ministry here is to help you. Don't disgrace us here. There is no food. These people are plenty. Jesus was teaching them something. He said, every time you see people think of dispensing, don't just think of receiving. You are an envoy. Wherever you go, go as light. Study the terrain of darkness and solve the problem. Don't join in the sympathy. Hallelujah. Are you getting blessed tonight? That you are an envoy of his presence. God has mandated you with an unction, 
with an anointing your rhema will not help the world until there is a demonstration of the practical reality of the fact that God lives in a man and the apostle calls it the mystery of godliness that God can dwell in a man such that you see an ordinary man but he's not just ordinary he's carrying a backing that this earth cannot speak the man tells you you are blessed and all the forces of nature align themselves and make that word come to pass that's an envoy hallelujah there are many of our homes listen to me that are under demonic yokes there are many of our family members that if no one arises to help them they will die you are that envoy god seeks envoys that he will send to different territories hallelujah praise the lord I've had the privilege of counseling people week after week and oh what joy fills my heart the moment the people begin to come one by one I am conscious of the fact that I am an envoy and you see them coming and crying oh man of God the devil has oppressed us and I tell them cheer up I don't tell them cheer up as stories I don't tell them cheer up as many men of God just comfort people without result. They say, don't worry. Uh, our Lord and God, no envoy. There is nothing that shows that you are an envoy. Darkness comes and the person goes back with that darkness. We must contend for levels where if men meet you just once, they will know they met an ambassador. Don't get emotional about this message and not do anything about it. Hallelujah. The family came to me for counseling. One of their sons had given the family a very big problem. And when they came, I told them, I said, it's okay, this is the devil here. Hallelujah. In less than one minute, the devil is casted out. I prophesy blessings to the family. It was not up to two days their father bought a new car, an envoy. This is not trial and error. You have become a portal for heaven to find expression at every given time. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Do you believe that there is a dimension of kingdom assignment that has been committed unto you to be a demonstrator of the presence, the reality, the culture, the life of the kingdom? I vowed to God and I cried years ago and I still cried. I said, Lord, I don't want to be those many preachers with rema that cannot be defended. As a student, before you graduate, there's something called defense. All the stories you have been talking, you are going to stand and say it before people that matter. Is that true? They are going to give you a topic that you think validates you for graduation. Oh, Jesus is this, the same yesterday, today, and forever. He can do this, he can do that. And they bring somebody oppressed and you're just looking and wondering. This is why we teach you these things. So that you'll be equipped. Oh, I've had testimonies of many of our people and I've been so blessed. The destruction they are doing to the kingdom of darkness in their spheres. Some of them just went home. They had been waiting. This strike, as bad as it is, has given an opportunity for some people to arrange Satan in their family once and for all. They went home as envoys. Hallelujah. The koinonia teachings that we send by the Spirit of God, they go as envoys of power. Envoys of the presence of God. That's why a lot of people have been touched that we may never see. While we are sleeping, the Bible says, Abel, though dead, yet speaketh. For as long as the jurisdiction of our Christianity is just to receive, get blessed, find a life partner, be very happy, get breakthrough, we will never be relevant as far as the advancement of God's kingdom is concerned. Are you listening to me? Unfortunately, this is what the congregation of the Nigerian church is predominantly made of. People who come to God with numerous problems, God solves the problem and they don't want any kingdom responsibility. 
responsibility again. All they want is to sit down and let a great man of God keep displaying the anointing, keep doing everything, and the people keep sitting there. Are you going to church? Yes, I'm going to church. You go. No. See, listen, brothers and sisters. No matter how much we love people, not everybody in this city is going to be able to come here. Are you getting me? Is that true? No matter how we love people, there are many people. Sometimes people send us messages and say, I wish, I wish that Koinonia will come and have a program or will have a program somewhere. And I tell them, who gave you our number? And they now say, oh, a brother somewhere. I say, go and tell that person to pray for you. Hallelujah. Take the step and fail honorably. God will bless you. If you are ashamed and embarrassed because of your ego, forget about being a champion in the kingdom. Many of you, this is what is stopping us. Hallelujah. My own blood sister did not have a job for a long time. I knew that this thing was demonic. I just have not been home for a very long time. And when I was going home, I, I, I had the opportunity to meet her and I prayed with her. I told her, I said, she was trying to give me explanation. I said, don't worry. The explanations are not necessary. Believe me, I know what the problem is. And I prayed for her. And that was the end of it. Praise the Lord. She got a job in Benway State. When can you look at somebody, a barren woman, and say, Madam, you are trying to come for Koinonia. They are not around, but they have been teaching us this thing. And Madam, will you allow me pray? She will look at you and say, please, I want Josh. Please. I know what, I'm, I'm serious about this child. I'm not playing here. Don't come and play with my womb. No. You say, Madam, just allow me pray. And you stand and say, Lord, you are real. And I want you to demonstrate the reality of your kingdom. Some of you say, what if she doesn't give birth? Did you collect money? Did you collect money? You get into trouble if you collected money. Did you collect money? It's just say, Madam, let me pray for you. And some of you, for the first time, as you lay hands on the people, suddenly you will see a demonstration of the kingdom. And the person comes back and says, I have not slept in one week. That simple word you said, be healed. I have been sleeping like a baby. And then you know that the kingdom has come in that environment. This has nothing to do with MOG. Are you getting my point? It should be your default life. Do you believe what I'm saying? Look at your loved ones. Brothers and sisters, please look at me. There are some of you in your families, there is nobody who is born again. Be honest with me, is that true? You are the first person God brought out. Who do you think will go and change them? Somebody else? There are many of you, there are forces of witchcraft. I went for a program and when they finished the program, some people just ran to me while I was counseling and they told me that their mother just broke her leg. Immediately the mother broke the leg. Some of the neighbors, they said, oh yeah, get chicken. Get chicken quick. I said, what is chicken having to do with this broken leg? They said, if you want this leg to heal, get chicken quick. I remember one time my mother hit, um, I think she, I, I don't know what happened. She hit, uh, is it a goat or something? And people, hey, stop. Say she look for one error. She must look for one error or something and put in the mouth of the of the the the, the bed or the goat or whatever. Say if you don't do it, ha. A time came, they came to dig a well in our house. They said, sir, we are finished. We need chicken. There's a way we do it for water to come out. You are the envoy that will stop that nonsense in your territory. A bishop in this country, a bishop in this country, baths his children with blood before giving them out for marriage. And one of his daughters called me one time and said, this thing happened to my elder sister. I know what is happening in their house now. The lady cannot give birth. What is all these things? And they want to do it. Bishop! And the man told her, you better come. This thing has been like that. That there are some people that are doing traditional Christianity. I hope you are. You, you, they, are, they are born again. But enter their room. There's one ancient arrow that they gave them. And one jazz that they put in the bowl. And some candles. Eh? And some ropes. 
they don't use them but they have kept them when the going gets tough the tough get going they know how to go and pull it out many families have not totally divorced themselves from a lot of cultural things there are still all kinds of witchcraft festivals and cultural activities that happen in our homes people are happy they are comfortable all kinds of devilish sacrifices are given you are that envoy that god is raising listen until your your christianity begins to confront the gates of hell you are still joking if your christianity has not yet begun to pose a threat to the gate of hell then you are still playing there are some of us ladies here nobody in your family gets married will you not be the first person to say not only will i break that i will break it first from my life and go back and release everyone that belongs to me from that captivity some of us is the cause of poverty right from wherever it has come to, even if you get job in presidency you won't be able to buy a bicycle why you will not explain because there are all kinds of yokes hallelujah and God is empowering you and sending you everywhere the Lord grants me the opportunity to go and minister every time it's time for the ministration I just begin to feel happy for that ministry and that territory because I am coming as an envoy I know that there is a government that backs me and they that with me are mighty and strong everywhere the Bible says he went he was doing good have you been doing good please listen to me and take it seriously Jesus said you are the light of the world a city that is set on a hill say I am an envoy say it I'm an ambassador I have a mandate to take the presence the culture and the life of heaven to every sphere of influence if you are not doing this then you are not advancing the kingdom now look at me I want to show you a very big key and then we'll pray there are some of you that may say sir but sincerely I have been taking steps it's just that it has not been working how many of you belong to that category tell the truth you have been taking steps don't raise your hand if you have not taken any step I took a step, I was bold, I made an audacious statement at home, I had to go back and cover my head with blankets. Don't be ashamed. How many of us are in that category? You've taken steps, at least you've said something, you prayed for somebody, nothing happened, but at least you did something. Let me see your hands. Listen to what I'm about to show you because you will be very surprised. I want to activate something right now. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Listen. Please look up. It's one thing to know that you are an envoy of the kingdom. It's another thing to understand the keys that govern the release of God's presence and God's power. I have seen anointed men of God get frustrated when it comes to the point of demonstrating what they teach. When it comes to Bible studies, when it comes to sharing the word, talk is cheap. But when it comes to walking in the reality and bringing men into that experience, this is where a lot of people become powerless. Why is this so? Because if the kingdom of God is all about sharing and teaching, there are some of us right now, there is even no need to be pursuing again because honestly God has opened our eyes to deep things. But there is nothing as frustrating as talking without authority to work in present tense consistently and continually you come and say every power in this place we are going to pray there are demons keeping people down and you are going to be released and then at the end of it you say all right i i hope that this message blessed you i hope you were motivated and challenged and the sister said ah what about the oppression you have been making me rejoice hallelujah or the man of god sees somebody on wheelchair and just dodges as if he didn't see the person 
He said, yes, what did you even say is your problem? He said, my own is headache. He said, come, power. Brother, we must contend. Listen, we have not all arrived there, but there should be a, a passion in our heart that we will not stop until we get there. Can I tell you something? One demonstration of the reality of the kingdom will solve 20 or millions of talk. There, there are too much talkatives in the body. Habalists don't talk too much. They demonstrate. Is that true? A priest can be in a city. He cannot even speak very well. Yet the ripple effect of his influence and his presence is being felt. You do anything without inviting him, you will fail woefully. And then the failure will make you to come and visit him. And you say, it's not done this way. With this little lesson, let it be known to you that I may be in this coven, but I'm more influential than your community leaders. Many of us are looking for pulpit for people to feel the effect. Jesus did not have a pulpit. Stephen did not have a pulpit. They had presence. Everybody say presence. You don't need a pulpit to let people see the power and the glory of God. You don't need a ministry, a title. What you need is an undeniable presence that principalities and powers must submit to. Hallelujah. I don't know if the woman is in this place, but just permit me to share a bit of the testimony. A woman came to me for counseling and I was surprised. I've heard about this, but I've never seen it one on one. Hallelujah. A woman who came for counseling, who gave birth to a baby. It was a still birth, but the baby came out with the face of a monkey and the body of a human being. Welcome to planet Earth where everything is possible. Why is it possible? Because there is God, there is Satan. Both are real and are walking. You are the only one who is left. You are not walking. Where that kind of evil can happen, that a spirit can create an imprint of itself and it will materialize in this realm. Where are the envoys? Where are the envoys that are represented across families? The Bible says... That in, in, Psalm, in Psalm 82, it was a summoning. God was summoning the mighty men. He said, the Lord stands in the congregation of the mighty. He had to call them and say, what is going on? He said, you have allowed the earth. You know not, neither do they understand. He says, so they grope in darkness. The earth is out of course. Where are the people who are supposed to bring order to the earth? He said, have I not said, ye are gods? And all of you are children of the Most High. He said, but you shall die like mere men and fall like one of these princes. Where are the envoys? Some of you are only benefiting, getting blessed. The devil comes in, you open the door, he enters our families, wreck the lives of people, and we are just watching. Can't you pray? Where is your prayer language? Where is the grace to lock yourself and say, There is an envoy in this house. There is an envoy. The devil is trying to put your family under some kinds of things. Give yourself three days prayer and fasting and tell yourself you are contending to release certain things. But we have a bunch of lazy Christians. Who all they want is their personal comfort. Three days, ah, Josh, if it was six to twelve, I can manage. Everybody say, I'm an envoy. Say it one more time, I'm an envoy. Listen, how many members in your family do you want to see the devil finish them before you know God is speaking to you? I'm talking to someone here. How many people in your community are you not seeing the handwriting of Satan everywhere? What are you doing about it? There are families that don't tithe and they are dying and envoy. Have you ever gone to tell them, listen, the reason why this thing is not working is you are violating certain principles of the kingdom. If you tell them and they refuse, no problem. The Bible says, how shall they hear until someone be sent, until there is a preacher. Praise the Lord. 
I refuse to allow the devil have a field day in my family. Hallelujah. These horns that are judging the lives of people, judging destinies. That's why it gives me pleasure to pray for people. I can pray and minister to people with all my heart from morning till night. Because this is what we are anointed for. We are not just anointed to wear suits. We are anointed to do the works of the kingdom. And can I tell you something? This is the mandate of everybody here. To dislodge the gates of hell. I went home and my younger sister was telling me. She said, I've not slept for days. I said, I, I, what is all this one with my younger sister? And I prayed for her. I gave her communion to go and take. She said as soon as she took that communion, she slept in a way she has not slept in a long time. I said, this is a signature to principalities and powers he is in Joss. Trace him with a spiritual GPS, he has come to Joss. That means the powers of darkness must bow. There are many of us that need to stand and say, wherever I go, the presence of God is there. And because the presence of God is there, there must be order in that place. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. He is able more than able to accomplish what concerns me today. He is able more than able To handle everything that comes my way He is able More than able To do much more Than I could ever dream He is able he is more than able He's able to make me what He wants me to do Now look up I want to show you a very powerful key For years I prayed for people with certain sicknesses and infirmity And I found out that these people were not just healed there were others that were healed. God was seen breakthrough here and there. But there seemed like there were certain situations that would not bow. Every time I was praying for the people, I felt helpless myself. You know, there's a way you can pray for somebody. You know that nothing really happened. It's just that if you want to lie to yourself. There's a way you lay hands and you are praying for somebody. At the end of the prayer, even the person is looking at you. You know that nothing really happened. That was the situation. And many preachers can get comfortable and say, after all, I'm doing well. There are ministerial doors opening. But I went to the Lord. I said, Lord, what is wrong? I have seen preachers walk to a sick body in less than one minute. One minute. Hallelujah. I was in a crusade ground when I watched Reinhard Bonke with my own eyes. I was there for six hours. I helped to carry some of the people who were sick because I said I must get this anointing. He casually finished preaching and he took a cup of water and devils were just shaking, waiting for a command. And this guy jokingly, without sweating, blind eyes be open, deaf ears be open, cripples walk. I saw it. It's not that they told me somebody we wield i saw this thing they were lifting the person everybody was trying to touch the person to stand up i joined with my hand i said whether i'm contributing to it or not and this guy stood up and began to walk brothers and sisters it's not that i've never seen cripples walk but let me tell you there is something about coming near a real miracle and verifying it for yourself hallelujah I saw blind eyes open. I saw a lot of things happen. I said, Lord, 
something is not fair in this equation and whatever it is i will go and find out how can a man casually lean on a pulpit and command eyes to open command ears to open and the devil is helpless at his command and i'm here sweating over certain issues and they are just not working that means the problem is not from god the problem is certainly from our end here and i went and i began to explore god wants to answer somebody's question right now i want to show you a powerful mystery never forget it thank you jesus matthew 16 blessed be the name of the lord as you open it just pray in tongues arise shine your light is come and the glory of the lord is risen upon you this is what will happen to somebody this night you will arise your light is come and the glory of the lord is risen upon you you will arise your light is come tonight god will show you a key the glory of the lord is Prophesy to yourself one more time. I will arise. My light is come. And the glory of the Lord is written upon. Sing it one more time. I will arise and shine. Arise. And the glory of the Lord. Matthew 16, Jesus showed us something powerful, a mighty key that will open you to a door of the demonstration of power and of the miraculous. Please don't trivialize what you are about to hear. Let the eyes of someone be open, my God. Let the eyes of someone be open hallelujah listen now look up please verse 13 when jesus came into the coast of caesarea philippi listen jesus had been walking with his disciples let me have two or three disciples i'm jesus hallelujah now jesus follow me Jesus went everywhere with these people. Is that true? They watched him demonstrate miracles. They saw a lot of things. These guys were amazed. They saw the sea, the waves. They saw the way situations were helpless at the presence of Jesus. And Jesus said, Gentlemen, I always hear you conversing. He said, Who do men say that I am? They see this mighty man doing miracles. And I'm sure they have been talking some have said he's fake some have said this guy may be one belzebub somewhere he said who do they say i am and the disciples were happy verse 14. the bible says that they were so excited because it was a secret question they had been asking themselves and they said some say you are john the baptist why because john the baptist had been caught in the prison and they didn't see him some say you are john the baptist some say you are elijah because the Bible says, before the great and terrible day of the Lord, Malachi 4, Elijah, the spirit of prophecy will come. So you are that manifestation of Elijah. And others said, Jeremiah, the weeping prophet, who wrote a lot about the lamentations of, of the spirit of God. He said, oh, you are just one of the prophets. And then he laughed. Now follow me. He said, all right, I have heard what they say. You have walked with me. You have seen me do miracles you participated what do you say that i am okay they say i'm a prophet fine they are wrong but you you saw the miracle they said it was fake but you you were in koinonia you saw the demons you saw them being casted out 
it's not something that you watch on TV that you say it was. He said, in light of all that you have seen, what is your conclusion about me? He said, what do you say that I am? Listen. And Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art Christ, the Son of the living God. Next verse. And Jesus said unto him, hmm, Blessed art thou, Simon Barjona, son of Jonah, he said, for flesh and blood has that means this operation is not in the realm of flesh and blood. If you ever want to walk in it, flesh and blood cannot deliver this dimension of result. He said, This revelation you've had now, it is not by flesh and blood. Are you getting me? Flesh and blood has not revealed it to you. He said, But my father, which is in heaven, listen. Peter, you know why Jesus asked them? Jesus needed to ask them to initiate a principle that he was going to teach the body of Christ. Verse 18. He said, and I say unto you, thou art Peter, listen, and upon this rock, what rock? The rock of the revelation you just caught. What is the revelation? The revelation is the fact that nothing just happens by flesh and blood until there is a spiritual understanding that backs the activity upon that revelation i will build the structure of my church that means for every time you will perform any activity there must be a revelation that you build upon otherwise the activity will just be normal are you getting this revelation in other words listen I can lay hands but the realm of the spirit will check what revelation do I know that activates the power over this activity if there is no revelation power will not flow it's a law in the spirit Peter I see that you have gotten a spiritual understanding it is upon this understanding I will build my church to function that means whatever they have to do they will first build on a rock a revelation must be the platform for any activity to be carried out communion without revelation powerless anointing without revelation powerless so I can lay hands I tell you I feel the power of the Holy Ghost in a very mighty way Zekete rata man protoso beka areke talata poka reposo to bariata. He said, "I will build my church upon a revelation." When you get this revelation, you will step into a realm where you become an envoy. Listen, listen. Listen to me. The Bible says a time came when Peter, James, and John, who became the pillars of the church, they went with Jesus. Is that true? To the Mount of Transfiguration. And the Bible says, listen, we were going to see the practical demonstration of that scripture. The Bible says they brought an epileptic patient. Everybody watch. Come, sir. They brought an epileptic patient. Now, it was the turn of the disciples to heal. Is that true? The Bible says they kept doing everything that Jesus did. Exactly, but nothing happened. Is that in your Bible? They did exactly. They saw Jesus doing everything. They did it. The guy didn't get healed. And when Jesus came down with three of the disciples, he saw his disciples struggling. That was what grieved his heart. He said, until now, because he knew it was a law, it would have happened without him anyway. And the Bible says, he looked at the boy. He says, since when did he have this condition? And they said, since he was a child, it throws him into the fire, throws him into whatever. And he said, I believe, help thou my unbelief, the father said. And the Bible says, Jesus rebuked a deaf and dumb spirit out of him. And the Bible says, 
the guy was manifesting like you always see here and fell as though he was dead people thought he was dead and they picked him up and he got up he was sound the disciple said in one minute we did the same thing what did you do differently is it not the rebuking we also rebuked we rebuked him we were tired power did not flow i'm showing you the key why you have not been seeing the move of god it's not about cramming the words i use you will say the same thing and not see anything there is a secret hallelujah many people think it's about talking like the man of god or dressing like the man of God or reciting what the man of God is saying that will not bring power brothers and sisters when Jesus did that and the demons obeyed him the disciples went and met Jesus listen the disciples say ah, why couldn't we cast out see when you are studying your Bible when you see Jesus about to reveal something pay attention the disciples were asking why they could not do these things and Jesus said because of your unbelief very simple like that because of your unbelief then he says however this kind goeth not but by fasting and prayer hold on so he told them the problem was unbelief and he told them to remedy unbelief part of the spiritual activities that will happen is fasting and prayer when you fast and pray something happens in your spirit that brings you to a position where you can now believe listen just follow me i want to establish something very very powerfully when jesus did that listen a time came when jesus now said all right guys i have tested you a while he said go in my name go not everywhere but to the lordship of israel go two by two listen now it was their turn the Bible says they went. They were all fidgeting. And they now looked at somebody and said, in Jesus' name. Suddenly, they saw the demon obey. They said, ah, this thing is working. Oh. They tried it again. They saw that it worked. They didn't even know what was happening. And the Bible says they returned rejoicing and said, finally, even they said, even the demons were subject to us in thy name. Jesus said, uh-uh, you have not gotten the point. Don't just rejoice that demons are subject to you. Rejoice because your name is, you know, is written in heaven and so on and so forth. And then a time came, listen, Jesus said, as my father has sent me, he said, so send I you. Hold on. It's not just saying nature. There was a way I walked in the earth. There was something that made those miracles to happen. He said, now I speak that let there be access to you to walk in those dimensions so that you'll be able to see those miracles. That means, listen please, for every time you carry out a spiritual activity and it works, let me tell you what happens in the spirit. There is a system in the realm of the spirit that cross-checks whether you understand what you were doing or not. If there is no revelation that backs that activity, power will not flow. Are you getting my point? The sons of Sceva, they call that man. They say, we adore you. The demon said, not so. I am seeing you in the spirit. Your house is built on sand. Where is the rock upon which this laying on of hands is built upon? I do not see any revelation. For that reason, I will not go. Listen. Brothers and sisters, do you know the power of this communion that we take? People just take communion. Oh, he's blessed and we take and nothing happens. But the day you step into the revelation of what it can do, the power of God will change that communion to the literal blood and body of Jesus Christ and it will answer in your body at once. There are many Christians trying to do spiritual motions without revelation and the bible told us about those people he said there were two people that built one built on a revelation a rock is that true another built on sand he was just building on religion the bible says now the wind came and tested it and the one who was built upon a rock 
revelation there was he was not just giving for nothing he was not just tithing for nothing there was an insight in the spirit that makes him to carry out that activity so i don't just pray in tongues because i'm seeing prayer band pray i'm praying on a rock there is a revelation i have come to know what prayer can do so every time i pray power flows through that revelation to edify my spirit and produce results this is why the prayer life of many christians is, is not working they humiliate themselves pray for hours and wonder why things don't happen what rock have you been laying hands on the sick upon what is the revelation that granted you access based on what did you prophesy to that brother and say in the name of jesus doors open what was the rock that supported that prophecy hallelujah when david was about to defeat goliath he knew that he cannot make empty noise and he said you come to me with your spares but i come to you in a name there is a name i know there is a covenant i have there is a revelation david and goliath on account of my covenant with jehovah i will take off your head and i know the power will flow and god said that is it you have gotten the equation now you bring out the sling how can an ordinary sling kill a man a revelation produce power envoys of power this is why you see all these things that are happening happening it will happen every time forever it's like a switch when you know how to turn it on you become an infant of fire so you enter anywhere you are an envoy you know how to compel powers to bow you know what to say to make them answer you you know what to say to make them leave you know what to say to dislodge the powers of darkness There is something you must know there are many preachers who preach they listen to a man of god's revelation they copied it and they are pasting it they preach a message that is supposed to bring healing but healing does not happen they preach a message that should bring breakthrough but breakthrough does not happen take your place take your place Take your place, 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 call his name, Holy Ghost. Take your place. Take your place. Take your place. Hallelujah. Hear me. When I caught this revelation, I was excited. And the first time we had the opportunity to organize our crusade as a ministry, it was now the time to put this in practical proof. Hallelujah. And in that crusade ground, there were sick people. There were all kinds of oppressed people. And when we began to see the power and the glory of God, I said this thing works it's not a lie the fault is not from God there is a fountain you can become a walking dispenser of the kingdom a dispenser of power when men shake you something will happen in your life because you are full of the word 
for everything there is a revelation even when you shake people you know that you are a blessing so that revelation will force something to get into them this may be the missing link behind your praying for the sick you have laid hands but you are just copying light has not come upon you there is no unction that supports what you are doing Take my body, my soul, my spirit, breathe on me. Take my body, my soul, my spirit, breathe on me. Take my body, my soul, my spirit, breathe on me. Take my body, my soul, my spirit, breathe on me. of your soul shall follow them not him them them a congregation a people who believe god enough to know that he's not playing when he says all power belongs to him he means it we are going to pray i like you to pray and say lord do something in my spirit that will cause light to enter me. I want to begin to see fruits. Come on now, pray. Koinonia, this is not how you pray. I want to see prayer warriors. I want to see men of prayer. Ambassadors, 
of the Most High, turn to like doves, pose like lions, carry the power of the heads to come, commanding results, commanding breakthrough, liberating nations, liberating cities, shekete-tete, eko-rosoba, seketoza, abra-tete-tete, Every demon power, hear me, every power, every yoke, right now, in the name of Jesus, come out of God's people, right now, come out, come out, come out, now, every force, every yoke, every spell, Inside and outside, I challenge you. Go, 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 Every curse, every protection, let them pray, 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 there is power, when you pray, there is fire, when you pray, I command powers bow in the name of Jesus at Koinonia destinies are changed at Koinonia eyes are liberated at Koinonia generals are raised and voice of power and voice of grace men of dexterity men of authority men of audacity Confronting case, confronting territory, Hallelujah. 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 I'm going to pray for you. What many of us need is an unction from the Lord that will suddenly make the things you read become alive. It's a spirit. It's called the spirit of revelation. Lift your hands. I want to pray for you. I want you to receive it inside and outside with all your heart. It's time for you to begin to walk as an ambassador hallelujah i'm going to count three and at the count of three i'd like you to shout the name jesus and as you shout something will come upon your life are you ready one two three take it 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 receive it the spirit of revelation outside take it outside let it come like fire eyes be open yes be open let the spirit of faith come upon you take it faith to believe faith to believe faith to believe Command miracles. Let blind eyes be open. Let deaf ears be open through your hands. Whoever you bless is blessed. Whoever you bless is blessed. When you speak, your words are backed up by an authority that is not of this realm. Your voice will be like the voice of God. Your voice will be like the voice of God. 
whatever you stop will stop whatever you stop will stop whatever you bind is bound whatever you lose is loose and voice of his presence I pray for you from today let the manifest presence of God let the angel of his presence begin to walk with you that everywhere you go you don't need to tell men you are anointed there is an angel of his presence that will go with you sinners will break down when they see you devils will cry out without you casting them i proclaim upon you from tonight you become an envoy of power an envoy of his presence an envoy of his glory under the apostolic unction i command as touching the grace given to me if i be sent of god let this mantle fall on as many people. Ma teke teke bakata. Sekete leka barakata. And voice of power. And voice of power. And voice of miracles. And voice of wisdom. And voice of breakthrough. Go and command breakthrough. Go and release your family members. The cause that has kept them. Go as a savior. Go and command marriages. Go and heal the barren. Let the barren be healed. Go and raise the dead. Go and raise the dead. Go and cast out devils. Prophesy business breakthrough to people. Prophesy career breakthrough. Your words carry power. Your hands carry power. Here at Koinonia, I stand as an apostle of God. And I proclaim, my God, the same power that backs me, let it back your people. The same authority that backs me, let it back your people. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. The journey of my life, listen to me please, has been a journey of progressive walk with the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. Listen to me please. Exactly a month ago, hear me, I was sleeping and the spirit of God woke me he said it's time for you to step into a new face of the anointing and a new face I always see it I see a military man in the spirit and then a batch is added and the Lord says there are many more responsibilities and there is an anointing and I prayed I said Lord you cannot just be empowering me alone your people need to walk in this kingdom power and all through the Lord had been brewing it in my heart and the Lord kept telling me it is my desire let your people believe me enough 
Moses said, I desire that my spirit will even come upon everybody. My greatest desire is not to be one invincible man of God. No. But that there will be people and you are these people to spread across. Hallelujah. And from the time the spirit of the Lord told me this, I knew that he increased the anointing upon my spirit and he measured a thousand cubits you can know you can see a man that walks with God and say this is different something has changed a thousand cubits and this is why whenever I receive it I make sure that everybody is a partaker of it if you don't walk with it it is not my fault but in the days to come as we prepare for next year you will see things that will surprise you. When you are faithful with the level of grace that God gives unto you and you are diligent, you will know and everybody around you will know when something, a thousand cubit has been measured again and there is a rise. This is why I worship him. Brothers and sisters, don't get emotional about this meeting alone. And don't get arrogant over the anointing you have received. Listen, authority in the spirit is for you to go and be a blessing, not to go and build an empire. Do not emulate these wrong things men of God try to bring to the body of Christ to make it look like there is one superstar. Let me tell you, every one of us have been anointed and called whether in business, whether in education, these anointings are not just for healing the sick alone, but opening people up to dimensions of the spirit. And if you do not use this and you let it dormant, it will dry up in your life. The Bible says, unto him, Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20, who is able your God is not weak. Your God is not limited. He's not intimidated by the size of your mountain. The Bible says in his presence, the mountains keep like lambs. It's the power of his presence. It was with the breath of his nostrils that he parted the Red Sea. And the river parted and became solid wall. You must realize that your God is great. Unto him who is able. Say after me, my God is able. Say one more time, my God is able. Hebrews 11 verse 6 says, For without faith, it is impossible possible to please him for he that cometh unto God must believe must accept must come to terms with the fact that God is the rewarder of them that diligently seek him great are you Lord I know you are greatly to be praised tonight we will see that Father, you reign. Great are you, Lord. You are greatly to be praised. And all the earth will sing. Father, you reign. You must believe him. Many of you have looked at your situations for so long. Some of you came here with terminal diseases is eating you there's physical evidence some of you have come with oppressions doctors have told you they're the best you've come with impossible situations will you take your eyes tonight away and look up to the mighty one you do mighty things you do glorious things you're a faithful god Awesome is your name. You do mighty things. You do.
alive it's not enough to believe that he can heal and deliver you must believe that he can meet your need you must believe your need is not so big hallelujah say I believe in God you must believe in him I believe in you I believe in your word and the power of its truth I believe in you so I lay down my cross that the cross might be found in you say after me my God is able number two you must believe in the vessel that you will use to bring you the miracle it's not enough to believe in God you must believe in the vessel hallelujah the power of the Holy Ghost is so strong strong and mighty mighty you must believe in the vessel second Chronicles 20 the prophet said believe in the Lord and you shall be established he said but believe in his prophets and you shall prosper it's not enough to believe in the Lord you must believe in the vessel that you will use hallelujah human beings have always been the carriers of God's anointing vessels of grace there are certain levels of grace you don't fast your way into it it's an election of grace hallelujah the bible says he led captivity captive ephesians chapter 4 it says he gave gifts unto men some apostles and prophets and pastors and teachers and evangelists for the edification of the saints that they the saints will do the work of the ministry that together we will come into the fullness of the stature of the measure of Christ and he gave gifts unto men and he gave gifts unto men I have found my servant David and with my holy oil have I anointed him it's not enough to believe in God you must believe in the word that comes from the mouth of God everybody say I believe number three you must believe and receive your miracle by faith Mark 11 verse 24 Jesus say what so things ever ye desire when you pray it says believe that you have received it there is a difference between receiving and having it says oh i thought they projected it believe that you receive then you will have it receiving is of the spirit having is the experiential manifestation it says when you pray you must believe receive it it is yours in the now listen the bible says receive and have therefore i say unto you what things soever ye desire what do you desire tonight whatsoever miracle you desire whatsoever breakthrough whatsoever deliverance you desire it says when you pray believe that is yours 
believe it receive it receiving is by faith receiving is by faith it's not a physical reality you don't receive physically you receive by faith then you will have it in the glory i will stand i will stand and i will lift my hand in the glory we receive every miracle you have for us it's in the glory tonight we stand we will stand and we will lift our hands sing your glory we will receive every miracle you have listen you will never have in the physical what you do not receive in the spirit are you listening to me you will never have in the physical what you do not receive he said when you pray it is a believe you have that will be lying believe you receive and you will have it number four you must take action listen we call koinonia intimacy but not just intimacy partnership a participation with the holy ghost hallelujah it's not entirely left to god to change your situation it's not entirely left unto you the bible says listen to me that when they came to jesus christ jesus came and went to a pool called bethesda that had five porches and the Bible says he saw a man who had been laid there for 38 years. Hallelujah. When he saw that man, he told him that would he want to be healed? And the man was grumbling and complaining and he did not bring his miracle. Are you listening to me? Grumbling and complaining does not produce miracles. Hallelujah. And the Bible says that Jesus told him John 5 verse 1 to 9 you can read it it says take up thy bed hold on how can Jesus tell a crippled man to take his bed it is a people assist him he said you stand up take your bed and walk home in other words if you believe me to be powerful enough take action faith is not faith until there is an action hallelujah acts chapter 3 paul i mean peter and john on their way to pray at the hour of prayer the bible says and then they saw this crippled man from birth sitting at the gate beautiful hallelujah acts chapter 4 verse 1 to 9 and the bible says that he looked unto them expecting to receive arms he did not know that his time of visitation had come and Peter said, silver and gold we have not. He said, but such as we have. See, there are people that have something. Let me tell you something. Not everybody is a noise maker. There are people that have something. It's an election of grace. At what point did Peter know he had something? Because the last time the Bible tells us he was sinking, he was not sure he had something. But now he said, uh-uh, it's not Peter. Something, I have something. And such as I have give I he said in the name of Jesus oh this is the inheritance of the believer in the name of Jesus he said rise up do you know the man did not stand he was just looking because there was no action the Bible says listen this sign shall follow it will not go before them it will follow the signs follow they listen 
Your faith initiates signs and wonders. The woman with the issue of blood began to speak. She said, this is my conclusion. If only I can touch the hem of his garment. I don't care who is going to stop me. Hallelujah. And the Bible says, Peter, helping his faith to work, held his hands and lifted him. And the Bible says, and he leaping stood. Hallelujah. As the word of God comes, don't sit down wondering. That's the time to say thank you, Jesus. That's the time to celebrate. That's the time to check yourself. Check the tumor. Don't say, I don't want to embark. No. That devil that has been oppressing you, as the word of God comes, you receive it and you begin to take action. This is the last time. That terminal disease, I wave you goodbye. You are gone for good. Partnership. Hallelujah. How many of us are ready to receive tonight? I know that God is going to do mighty things. It's going to be very, very fast. Very, very, very fast. Hallelujah. Very, very fast. Ushers, if it's possible, please start collecting the prayer request because we don't want an interruption. If you don't believe prayers are answered in this place, please don't write anything. You will not go to hell. I will reverence you, Lord. I will reverence you, Lord. I will reverence you, Lord, for in your presence there is life everlasting. I will reverence you, Lord. I will hallelujah please pass your prayer request to the last person by your side ushers coordinate them let's do it quickly hallelujah please pass it quickly so we bow as we enter the throne room Lord we cast ourselves down at your feet for you are holy thou art holy there is none like you for in your presence, that is where I must be. He's healing everyone in obedience to Christ. Sin obedience to Christ. Sin obedience to Christ. Sin obedience to Christ. Sin 
in obedience to Christ. In obedience to Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. The one who does these great things. Tonight let no man be worthy of praise. Let no man be worthy of honor. Alpha Omega. For the things that you will do in this place I give you praise. Because you always hear me. Whenever I call him. He will answer me. Elijah called on him and he answered him. The apostles called on him and he answered them. This is why I know whenever I call on you, you will answer me. Listen. Let me teach you something before I begin to minister. You can never be more confident than your secret place will give you. Are you listening to me? The secret place is the place of authentic power. The confidence of a believer is in the derivative of your knowledge. The Bible says, let the wise man not glory in his wisdom. Let the strong man not glory in his strength. He says, but let him that glory at glory in this, that he knoweth and understandeth me. I know that there are many men and women of God here who have come from different places to catch the fire. And this is why I'm saying this. Listen, this is not about jamboree. There is a real person called the Holy Ghost. He's not a myth. Listen, you will never be able to walk in miracles until you believe in the reality of this personality. That he can find expression in the midst of his people. Hallelujah. Praise God. Jesus saw tears and wheat. And he gave us a verdict. He said, the enemy has done this. Can I announce to you? That there is a devil that will not relent over your destiny until you put him where he belongs hallelujah praise the Lord the Bible says upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance and holiness and then the sons of Jacob after that deliverance will possess oh there is no possession until there is a separation between light and darkness hallelujah all the powers of darkness that have tormented you while I prayed the Lord opened my eyes and I saw a lot of torments that are keeping people where they are listen the Lord told me something he said for everyone I was talking with my sister earlier on and she was just sharing her desire to receive and I, I went to the Lord about it and the Lord said that all you need to do tonight that's what he was telling me he said if you speak it I will confirm it that's what God told me hallelujah when God told me I started writing a list of the issues I know in people's lives because I've been receiving text messages some of you sent me text messages angry about some situations and my God told me he said if you will speak it I will do it tonight I tell you the truth and I lie not believe the Lord he will surprise you tonight please listen there are some of you I must say this when we mention your case or any issue that has to do with you please don't waste the time of others hallelujah don't waste the time of others struggling and then coming very shabby very complacent we will just jump you is that agreed because we want to see how we can use the few minutes we have to really do a quick walk in our lives. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lift your hands as we worship you. See the rain of your love. Feel the wind of your spirit. 
Now the heartbeat of heaven Let us hear Just lift your hands I didn't ask you to sing Feel the rain of your love See the wind of your spirit Now the heartbeat of heaven Let us hear We see the rain of your love Feel the wind of your spirit Please lift your hands When I begin to sing let it rain there will be deliverances. Let us hear. So let it rain. Or shall spring them out. Let it rain. Open the floodgates of heaven. Let it rain. Let it rain. The power of the Holy Ghost. Moving across this building. God is already moving but we are going to shout the name Jesus listen listen every time the Lord shows me this I see angels and I see the movement of the angelic right now at the count of three I want you to shout the name Jesus many of you will literally feel like electricity running through your body and those devils there is no hiding place tonight are you listening to me? How many of you believe? There is no hiding place tonight. There is no hiding place. At the count of three, my God, you will confirm your word. Everyone under any yoke, any spell, any enchantment, at the count of three, let the power of God bring such a one inside and outside. Let the angels of the Lord Move at the count of three. Are you ready to shout now? One, two, three. Oh, shake it, Oh, break it, I cast out devils. Go, 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 the power of darkness let the fire of the Holy Ghost let the fire of the Holy Ghost fall let the fire bring her leave her leave her leave her, leave her. let the fire of the Holy Ghost Satan Get lost, Satan. Get lost. Yeah, 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 yeah. some of you you will run out here by the influence of the Holy Ghost no man will stop you by the influence of the Holy Ghost is the fire of God it will happen to some people from outside outside the fire of God is falling and even inside but I want you to know as I begin to chant in the spirit there's no hiding place for any devil tonight so get take a 
Lord, let your power move. Every power, every force of darkness, I release the fire of the Holy Ghost. Let it fall. I release the fire. Leave them, leave them, leave them, ushers. Leave them alone. You will come out by the power of the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost will bring you out from your seat. The Holy Ghost will bring you out from your seat. The Holy Ghost will bring you out from your seat. The Holy Ghost will bring you out. Hallelujah. Now, there are some of you that see men come to sleep with you in dreams and oppress you. They call it spirit husband and spirit wife. I don't care what the name is. Right now, there is fire. Lift your hands, everybody. Responsible for failure. Responsible for delay. Listen. Listen. At the count of three, the Lord showed me in a vision. This one will hit many people. Tonight is a night of deliverance. Many of you do not know this is what is responsible for your setback. I already see angels standing in front and outside. Listen, it's going to, you know, you will not be able to stand it. It's a fire. Are you ready now? At the count of three, some of you will not finish shouting Jesus. Lord, I pray. You said if I can speak it, you will do it. I stand under this apostolic unction. Every manifestation of the devil at the count of three. One, two, three. Go for Russia. Regressia. Go for Yeta. Oh, my God. 
this purpose was the Son of God made manifest that he may destroy, put to an end. The power of God is still falling. I tell you, devils are under major attack. But pose attack. The angels are walking. Don't wait till you fall down. Receive. Don't wait till you fall down. Has nothing to do with falling. Yeah. 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 This was a sound that I had in the spirit. That's why I'm singing it. Yeah. 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 Hallelujah. Bring her. It's time for her deliverance. I command you to come. I command you to come. Don't force her. She will come by the power of the Holy Ghost. Come. Come and stand here. Yeah. 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 Listen. A scripture entered my spirit. It said, how all inspiring are your ways. Through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit. When light enters you, it makes you a madman. Tonight is a night of major deliverance. Major, major, major. Yeah. Hallelujah. Leave her alone. Stand there. Stand there. Yeah. Listen, listen to me. Everybody, look at me, please. The word of God is not a lie. God cannot be joking with you. Anytime you take your Bible, I told God, my life and this ministry will be a demonstration of the book of Acts. Is the acts of the Holy Ghost. Sir King Salama Salama. He's called the Prince of Peace. Salama. Hallelujah. Leave her alone. Be still. Stand in one place now. Your time in this body is over. Your time in this body is over. Now in the mighty name of Jesus. Out of her now. Come out of her. Out of her. Sir King Salama. Out. Come out. The fire of the Holy Ghost. He maketh his angels, spirits, and his ministers flames. Leave her now. She's free. Sharking Salama. 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 Your time is up. This is Koinonia. The mighty name of Jesus. Come out now. Out of her. Yeah, boy. Listen. Listen. The Lord is showing me an arrow coming from outside this country. This is what affected this boy. This thing has tied this gentleman's life. Leave him. Leave him. Come back 
back here. Come back here. Now. Sorry, everybody. Come back here. Many of you, listen. Many of you do not know that wickedness is real. You have allowed films to, distort, to, to spoil your mind. If you don't take, I tell you, whatever is stopping, one of the things I will be doing tonight is breaking the curse of marital delay. Oh, the devil, it will answer tonight. Look at, it's already happening. Come out! Come out! This guy has a violent spirit. A violent spirit. The mighty name of Jesus. Every lecker hole you have over this body. I challenge you right now. You will leave him. The fire of God is against you. It's time for you to go out. Out of him. Out. Shall the captives be delivered and the prey be taken from the mighty. But thus saith the Lord. Let her go right now. Thou foul devil. Come out. Come out. So pray take a pariah da baladala. Sarkin salama. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. Let me tell you what the Lord is showing me about this gentleman. This guy. Listen. Listen please. This guy has a very, very colorful destiny. But do you know what I just saw? From his head to his toe. How many of you have read the story of Lazarus? That's what I saw. And he was tied with snakes from his head to his toe. This is what I'm seeing right now. See? Do you know that the challenges many of you are going through is not ordinary? It's because nobody has told you. But tonight there is a God to set you free. This is spirit husband. This is what is stopping this lady from getting married. Out. Come out of her. Out now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Your time is over. I'm seeing an army officer. I'm army officer. In the name of Jesus. Come out. Come out. Shake her taba. Brento koprikata. Out of her right now. This is the spirit of lust. Go prosque taliada. Be gone. There is no hiding. I tell you something. See, the mistake the devil made was to allow you come in here tonight. I don't care whether you are wherever. If you came here tonight, if except God lied to us in the Bible. But if he told us the truth, there will be a performance in your life tonight. Sirkin Salama. Come out. Out of her right now. Salama. Salama. Listen, let me tell you what happens in meetings like this. Some of you, because of this demon spirit, the one to start pushing you to go out or to run away, you, you better stay and let God help you. The devil is a liar tonight. Are you listening to me? Okay, I didn't finish with this guy. Watch what will happen to this brother. He's not looking at me. Oh. He's not looking at me. Just calm down. Stay in one place. I'm not speaking to him. Don't, don't worry. Stay in one place. You can't go anywhere. You come here. This is a, the head of a snake I'm seeing. Right to his foot. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. 
the fire of the Holy Ghost sets you free right now from your head to your toe. I lose you. I lose you. He's going to cough out something outside. Take him outside. He's going to go and cough out something. Sarkin Salama 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 Come out of her right now in the name of Jesus. Devil of darkness. Sarkin Salama Salama There's someone that has a problem, a heart problem, heart problem. That was your request, heart, something in your heart. I don't know what it is. The Lord is showing me. Please remember I told you don't waste our time. Please. There's a lot of things we have to do this night. Heart. Something pertaining to your heart. If you are still thinking about it, you are not the person. Please, quickly. Salama, yeah. Salama. Salama, yeah. Hallelujah. Ah, ah. See, there is a lady. Now, don't feel embarrassed at what I'm about to say. You see snakes in your bathroom. Ladies' bathroom. Who is that person? Come out. Come out. This has been an issue. You have not shared it with people. Snakes, you are you see it. Who is the person? Please. Salama. Salama. Yeah. You are not the only one, no. You are not the only one. This is the problem. God, God is ready to deliver you. Look, this is a family. Are you listening to me? This is not. This is an apostolic ministry. So there is, we are here, we are a family. When God is mentioning your case, forget about what, what issue of shame. Issue of shame is out of the way. Hallelujah. What's wrong with your heart? Asthma. Asthma. Is asthma really a heart? This one, I'm seeing a heart problem. But I'll pray for you. Be healed right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Be healed. Listen, I'm going to pray for you people. God is doing Come out of her now. Out. Come out of her now, devil of darkness. The time is up. Just hold my hands with both of your hands. The fire of God will hold it as tight as you can. It cannot stand. It will leave you because you are destined for greatness. Once I see it in the spirit, it must go. For light cannot hide in darkness. Aha, I see you now. Out! Go! Go! Kapotoka! Reketaria! Mambroskote! Reketeria daba! Boseketalia! Out! Come out of her! Out of her right now! Sarkin Salama! Look at me. Two things God is doing. Hold my hands. Hold it. Do you believe? You want God to set you free? Sarkin Salama. Look at my eyes. You just look at my eyes. Try to look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. Devil of darkness. Go! There is no hiding. For there is a name that is above every other name. What did she come out for? The same thing? Why were you afraid? Don't be afraid, eh? You hear? Hold my hands. Hold my hands. Both of your hands. Look at me. Can you shout Jesus as loud as you can? Go ahead. Jesus. 
Salama. You are free. Salama. Salama, yeah. Be delivered right now. I set you free. Now. Do you know what is happening to this lady? If I tell you, some of you will not believe. For every shout that she's making is demons that are going. When she's done, she'll be quiet. <laughs> now, leave her. Fire upon you right now out of her this lady has a great destiny this is a snake this is what i'm seeing this is a whole snake mighty snake the lord is against you let her go now That is above all names. Hold my hands, my dear. Hold my hands. No, I'm not speaking to her. Don't worry. Come, hold my hands. I'm not speaking to her. Don't worry. You people do not understand spiritual things. You are spiritual people here. Come, hold my hands. The demon knows what it means, what I'm saying. Salama, yeah. Salama. Hurry up, please save our time. We, we don't have much time. Salama. Hold my hands. Don't tap it. Hold it. Out now. Salama, yeah. Salama. Watch the way this demon will leave. Come, see. Listen. You will go on your knees. You will bow to the king of kings and go. Simple. You will go on your knees, bow to the king, and off you go. Sir King Salama. Salama. Salama, yeah. Listen, this is not jamboree. As I see my father do it, don't go and try it. You will die for nothing. This is not child's play. Hallelujah. Don't you think we are just, no, I'm not one of those ministers. I can't come and waste your time. God is too serious. Are you listening to me? Now lift your hands. Many of you do not know. Listen, please, now is the time to stand both for yourself. If you are a lady here, there is no reason why you should not be lifting your hands. marriage is a blessing it's not a curse as I, I as i talk as i talk because you see I, I see a sword of fire leaving my mouth i want to break certain demonic things many of you don't know what is stopping you and your loved ones for some of you is a role in your family many people have told you nothing just just hope one day no we don't do that nonsense in this place now faith is lift your hands hallelujah listen the moment we shout the name jesus some of you listen you will testify whatever is happening to you here will locate all your loved ones around listen the reason is because there are ordinances of darkness 
that are keeping some of you your parents took you to places in the name of protection and that devil will not let you go the lord instructed me to do this hallelujah if you are here or your loved ones there has been delay men come they go or maybe you have a child and you're thinking you will not marry that devil is a liar this night are you listening to me so don't just stand for yourself alone don't say it does not concern me don't be foolish hallelujah are you ready now you will see the demonstration of the power of the spirit Kai, because see i'm seeing blood i'm seeing blood dripping on the ground let me tell you what this means there are covenants and ordinances this is what the lord is showing me but my bible says the blood of jesus speaketh better things better things at the shout of the name jesus the demons responsible for any marital delay god you said if i speak it you will do it right now at the count of three it will hit some of you in a mighty way inside and outside lord let nobody be spared one two three break 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 ushers bring them out ushers bring them out break 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 the yoke be broken the yoke be broken the yoke i release you i release you i release you i release you every cause of marriage over your family tonight be free be free be free don't don't take at her don't take at her time to get married hey bring them out don't wait till you come out the power of god is setting you free where you are yes 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 ordinances i'm seeing altars on fire altars on fire altars on fire altars on fire i set them if i be a servant of god right now i set every demonic altar on fire it will burn tonight Protocoto, reke protocoto pre, so pre to hopos, sheke pre kate, e proskote, reke te pros, sheke te, altas, altas, marital altas, be shut down, be shut down, be shut down, I release you I release your family I release you inside and outside I release you I release you into your marital destiny the curse is lifted I release your sisters I release your brothers by the fire of the Holy Ghost. I release you. I release you. I release you. Just receive. I release you. I release you. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. I got a text from someone. I mean, they brought someone who was sick. Who was that person? I can't remember now. A sick person. No, they sent, I remember they sent me a text that they would bring the sick person. Please save our time for God's sake. We're still going to minister to the sick. Hallelujah. Let that lady go free. Now devil. Let her go free now. Let her go free. I release the fire of the Holy Ghost upon you. Let her go free right now. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. Everybody say I receive. Yes, it's happening to you. Now, please listen. I want to pray for terminal diseases terminal diseases all kinds of terminal diseases please you brought someone or you came here with a terminal disease come out quickly terminal only terminal diseases please let's save time can we do that god is locating people there are some of you god god is already terminal diseases please come out quickly 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 i beg you if you can run run save time please please as you come out here say lord it comes i hope you know what terminal diseases are healing rain healing cry rain unto god where that sickness I'm bye bye afraid. because it's going forever i'm not afraid of time listen can you just hold your hands together if you can I'll just minister to you at once please if you came here believing God then know that it will end hallelujah there is an angel standing here and there is an angel of the Lord standing here please listen when we begin to minister to the sick if we call a case and you came with the person please make sure you come especially if the person cannot speak English for our mothers so that we can hurry up okay the power of God will come upon some of you but it really doesn't matter that devil is going right now the spirit is called the spirit of infirmity hallelujah after a country you will say i am healed when that happens it's like electricity it will pass with power all around this place are you ready now one two three go poto be free Go, 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 go. Coming out this is go. Go, 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 go. 
by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Go! 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 Come back with testimonies. Come back with the testimony. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Come back with the testimony. 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 I speak to you, all of you. Come back with a testimony. Come back with a testimony. Hallelujah. Say, I'm healed. Go back to your seats. You can check yourselves. Please make sure you check yourself. Go to the hospital if you need. I know someone with HIV was healed. Anyone who has been, anyone with any CG, see the power of God is, is breaking from inside. Some of you are outside here, you are not receiving. People inside are receiving and they are leaving you. Listen, anyone with any academic issue that Senate has refused to answer, between now and the next 14 days, I command them to answer. Anyone who is at the verge of probation, listen, anyone at the verge of probation, I pick you from where you are and I bring you back as a student in this school. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I want to pray for you. Any cause you did not fail, listen, See, believe oh, any cause you did not fail, but you went to the board and you saw F. I change it. I said I change it. Man to kapala kuzita. I change it. Kato pratishi. I change it. Hallelujah. Any man, I don't care who, who is molesting and oppressing people in, every, in any department or any faculty, whether supervisor or whoever, I instruct them to begin to favor you now. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now listen carefully. Those inside, can you hear me? Can you hear me? I'm standing out because... I want those outside to appreciate this meeting. Now, I'm going to pray for you. Some of you, I'm seeing chains on the heads of... We are dealing with academic issues now. Hallelujah. Listen. I want you to lift your hands. Many of you will feel like fire burning your head. If that... Wait. I'm going to count three. When that happens to you... Listen, this one will affect a lot of people. There are some of you that are first-class materials. But because of this wicked thing, you were excellent in secondary school. It's not that you are bad. Let me tell you, those days will be restored. Because, listen, listen, listen. I'm going to pray for you. Hallelujah. When I count three, inside and outside, with all your heart, shout, I receive. For some of you, that will be the last thing you will remember. Something will happen to you that will change your life. Are you ready now? Please, with all faith. One, two, three. Receive it now. Receive it. Take it. I restore you. Take it. 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 Inside. Inside. Take. Receive it inside. Receive it inside. Outside. Receive it. Receive it inside. Take it inside. Take it inside. At the back. Inside. The angel of the Lord is touching people at the back outside here. At the back, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. Many of you will go back now and your academics will surprise you. Yeah. Hallelujah. Now listen. 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 I want all of you to think about a cause that has been troubling you because I'm about to make it to bow now. Just listen, listen. I'm working as God is. Just, just think of it in your mind just once and bring it under the Lordship of Christ because I'm about to open, I'm about to tell it to open up for you. Are you ready? It's already happening to this sister. Now listen, every department, every faculty in Amadubello University, that course that is threatening you right now, when I shall bow, many of you feel as if your head will open up. Are you ready now? In the name of Jesus, Bow! 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 In the name of Jesus, Bow! Bow! In faculty of medicine, Bow! Faculty of engineering, Bow! Environmental design, Bow! Education, Bow! Social sciences bow. Sciences bow. All the faculties in Congo bow. Every other faculty bow. Anyone with a missing script. Problem of missing script. I stand tonight under this unction. And I command, wherever your paper is, where, except you didn't write that exam, wherever your paper is, just as the donkey of Kish was found, I command that paper to be found now. <laughs> Hallelujah. For all those whose assessments have been bad, listen, for this exam, for all those whose assessment have been bowed, have been, uh, are bad, in the name of Jesus, I release makeup test, makeup assignment, in the name of Jesus. May the Lord touch the hearts of the lecturers, no matter how hardened they are. Hallelujah. All of you shout, I will excel. Say it one more time. I will excel. I will excel. Say excellence is, my portion. excellence is my portion. Say I refuse failure. I refuse failure. Say I refuse, I refuse failure. I take you from pass. From third class. I take you into. Some of you are, are trusting. Let me tell you. Any class you need to step up. I step you up right now. Yeah. I know some of you are doubting. Do not doubt the creative power of God's word. It created the heavens and earth. I said I step you. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For all those, whether you or your loved one, they've been writing jam after jam, wayek after wayek. You are looking for papers it has refused to come if god be god if there is a god in this place listen those of you who are about to whether jam whether de you have papers that you need to make up i stand as a servant of god i give you the paper you are looking for those writing jam i prophesy write your last jam in the name of jesus those writing whether wayek or whatever to make up and there are some of you who are about graduating but the papers you have are causing trouble and right now you already have problem at the senate mercy 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 you must graduate you must graduate let something be done in your life that has not been done in this school God is visiting people. Thank you, Jesus. 
God is opening people's files, I tell you. God is visiting people. Don't stand there doubting. God will bless others and leave you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everything called mental blockage or exam fever, all this nonsense that comes on people, you will read and even do tutorial for others. In the name of Jesus. That spirit that makes you to forget things in the exam hall, that you will only remember after you finish, right? Right now. I curse that spirit. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You cannot read like a slave. I forbid you from reading like a slave. In the mighty name of Jesus. I tell you, God is visiting people in a mighty way this night. God is visiting people in a mighty way. Hallelujah. In your academics, I don't care how bad it has been. I don't care what has happened from today. Step into that, that dream you saw that your, your results has never looked like it. You have been seeing it. Enter the reality of it. Many of you have dreams. You see four points, but you write exam and see one point. I curse that devil in the name of Jesus. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I tell you, God is visiting people. Hallelujah. Now, please, everybody who is sick, you came here with any kind of disease. I'm about to rebuke it right now, please. We don't have time. Our time is fast spent. But God is going to visit inside. Are you still with me? Are you still with me inside? Now, those outside here, I want, I want to pray. Everybody lay your hands anywhere is hurting. If it's a part of your body, you cannot lay your hands on lay your hands on your chest. Whether fibroids, whether growths, whether cancer, whether blindness, whether deafness, whether lameness, whatever it is, I don't care. If it followed you here, it made a mistake because it's going to leave you right now. Are you listening to me? Some of you, what you call sickness is actually oppression. Because I see that there are many ladies with all kinds of sicknesses. People think you are careless. You are not. That devil will leave you. Hallelujah. Some of you have HIV. It's not like you slept around. You too, you don't know how it came. Some of you have all kinds of cancerous growth. There are people they've told you you, you cannot. I, I, after I finish this, I'm going to specially pray for barren people. Hallelujah. Praise God. Now, listen, all of you inside, lift your hands. Lift your hands for that healing. I'm going to count three and the power of God will begin to come on sick people. Just those inside. Those inside. Ha hallelujah. The angels of God are moving inside. I see them. At the count of three inside, I tell you, many sicknesses will disappear right now. The moment I count three, just take that hand and lay it where it's hurting and start receiving your miracle. Are you ready? One, two, three. Receive right now. Take it by the power of the Holy Ghost. Now lay your hands there. Receive your healing right now. Receive your healing right now. Many of you are feeling like electricity. It's the healing anointing of the Holy Spirit. It's going through you. Begin to do what you couldn't do before. Those outside now, lay your hands there. Are you ready to receive? That devil will not follow you. Now in the name of Jesus, those outside here, receive. Receive your healing. Receive your healing. Growths disappear. Terminal diseases go. Asthma go. Asthma go. Every deaf ear be open now. Every blind eyes be open. If your hair and one leg is shorter than the other, let the other one grow out now to equal sizes. In the name of Jesus. Every lady problem 
every woman problem man de kagokoto rekatabadi kete balatakai irregular menstruation ends now 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 shita kata balakata the fire of god is burning i tell you the fire of god is burning jikatoko proto super to koto balataba every lump in the breast disappears now disappears now disappears now every growth in any part of your body every growth i cause that growth to its root right now in the name of jesus i cause that growth to its root right now in the name of jesus thank you jesus any pain in any area of your body i rebuke it any trace of mental disorder whether for you or for your loved ones wherever they are and if you are here let the power of god touch you now let the fire of god touch you now let the fire of god touch you now shake it take up a wreck it take a toto toto to baka ziko to riapata shake it let them go let them go out 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 every kind of mental problem whether it has manifested or not out 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 go go every curse every covenant thank you jesus hallelujah hallelujah now any woman here or your sister or you who has been barring please connect now is the time we want to release miracle children right now i don't know whether they have been barring for 10 years 20 years 30 years the bible says and god opened the womb of anna listen i want you to stand you are a lady here you lived a promiscuous life and then you found out that okay some things happened maybe you lost your womb or something god is about to give you a new one right now i don't care what the problem is hallelujah praise god I want to cause barrenness and impotency, low sperm count, all this demonic infertility, whatever. I don't care if it has a name, it's going to answer this night. Are you ready? Everybody inside, make sure you are with me. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Whether for you or for your loved ones, right now, my Father, in the name that is above all names, lift your hands. I pray. There are some of you, listen. Some of you do not know that there are already projections of barrenness on you. It's just that you have not married yet. So don't say until you are married. The devil is wicked. God brought you to set you free. You'll be surprised. Hallelujah. Inside and outside, you're going to shout Jesus. And God is going to visit some people. There are some of you, God will visit you not for you, but on behalf of other family members. And I tell you, you will see people take in. Are you listening to me? Do you believe this? At the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus and you'll see what will happen. Are you ready? Thank you, Holy Ghost. At the count of three, let your power move across inside and outside. Are you ready? This will happen to many people because there is the curse of barrenness. And standing for anybody at the count of three, shout it with all your heart. Are you ready? One, two, three. Jesus! Take it, take it, take it. Take it, Supokoto, Rekete Keriata, Barriness, go, 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 inside, inside, fire, fire is falling inside, outside, fire is falling, the curse of barrenness, Tokoto Peketa, for your loved ones, every barren woman, receive children, receive children, receive children, any impotency, whatever it is low sperm count infertility whatever it is in the name of jesus i curse it now by the power of the holy ghost thank you jesus please stay with me
Hallelujah. I want to pray and prophesy. We want to talk on the issue of finances right now. Everybody stand up and take this very seriously. We apologize for the lightning. I believe that maybe some hitches here and there. We'll soon round up. Hallelujah. While this is happening, please let's have all the prayer requests outside here. Look at me. See, listen, look up. The secret of financial blessing is in your giving life. Are you listening to me? I don't care what you are doing. The secret, if you are not a giver, whatever you are seeing now is only a deceit. It won't last. Are you listening to me? I want to minister to you. How many of you know that God is not glorified in anybody's poverty? How many of you are tired of the situation of some of your family members? You know, you know what? Some of your parents, one job here, two months, they've driven them away. This is a curse. The problem is that pastors like sugarcoating things. They just say, oh, it's well. There is a difference between faith and foolishness. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, I want to challenge you. Everybody, please hold a seat. Bring out a seat. You know us in this place. If you don't believe, don't bring it out. I want to break the curse of poverty. Don't you think, please, I, I, if you have something, share with your neighbor. Please, please, please. Bring out a seat. Don't murmur and grumble. Just keep your seat back, please. We are a blessed people. We are a blessed people. Look at me. Look at me, sister. Look at me. Tell her to look at me. Look at me. Just tell her to look at me. Don't worry. Leave her. Look at me. Come out of her, devil of darkness. Ah, leave you alone. Praise God. See, while I was praying for this meeting, I saw this. Please listen. I saw a particular family. This is a revelation that the Lord showed me. And I saw them around the river. Hallelujah. Around the river with 500 naira. I don't know. I'm not going to mention them so that you don't think maybe I'm talking about a church or a ministry. We don't do that. But I saw some people seeming men of God or whatever around that they were trying to do something about financial prosperity. You see that? They killed chicken. They killed one other animal. I think goat or something. And they were invoking things on the person. And the Lord said, save this family. I saw it in the vision that the Lord showed me. There is nothing we will do here that God did not instruct. Hallelujah. Please, if you do not have a revelation of this, keep your money. You won't go to hell. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Bring out something and connect it. I want to pray for you. You will lift it up. Hallelujah. Inside and outside, just lift it up. Okay, people are oppressed. Ah, people are oppressed. Listen, just lift it. Many of you, the fire will fall on you and your sacrifice. It will fall on you. See, it's poverty I want to attack. It's a spirit. Don't be mistaken about it. It's already happening to people. Everybody lift it. Please make sure there is a seed. It will be your contact. Clash the symbol for me, please. At the clash of the symbol. Ah. Are you ready now? My father, I pray. It's your desire to prosper us. People have suffered. Families have suffered. Right now, spirit of poverty. Go. 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 Keep the offering up. Go. Go, 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 go. For your family, I burn that spirit of poverty. It's a curse. Leave God's people. Poverty causes laziness. Poverty causes lack of failure. Lift your seed. It's your sacrifice. My God and my King. If God be God, I pray poverty be broken in the name of Jesus. Be broken. Shoketeketa. Rekotopokotupaka. 
So protocoto rekete kete rekoto preketika jobless go 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 Hallelujah. To me, my people made a covenant with me by sacrifice. I command doors of uncommon, unusual, inexplainable, financial prosperity. Let it be open now for you and for your family. That joblessness ends now. Mm, God is visiting families. God is visiting families. Any contract that has been revoked right now by the power of the Holy Spirit, I return it back to your loved ones. The curse of poverty be broken. Don't say I'm a student. Become rich in the name of Jesus. Become rich, blessed, wealthy. I program your spirit as surely as the Lord lives. God is visiting people. Twenty-one angels standing in this place. I don't know what I'm seeing. I'm seeing it, the whole of this place. The whole of this place. Lift your hands because God is about to visit you. Some of you, it's not just financial issues. God will join everything and visit you. As soon as I shout, receive it. Right from here, down to this row. This is what God is showing me. The power of God will come in a strong way. Lift your hands, all of you. In the name of Jesus, at the count of two, just two, the wind will blow. One, two, let it blow right now. Take it. 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 Don't wait till you fall. This has nothing to do with falling. It has nothing to do with falling. Receive by faith. Hallelujah. The Lord is visiting people. I don't know what the case is, but when I touch you, just know God is visiting you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. The angels of the Lord are pointing people to me. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Aha. Now, out of her. Come out. Come out of her. Shekotopa, your time is up. Your spirit out, out now. Pain go, come out. Supokotopekata lekata, dombretons kebanda kriata. Lord, visit them. Ushers, help me visit them. Please help them, help them, ushers, so that they don't fall down one another. Visit them. Visit them. Zidaba. God is visiting your mother right from the States. Oh, no, in UK. God is visiting her right now. Hallelujah. Madam, God is about to locate you. Stand up, please. Stand up. Your time of breakthrough has come. Come and stand here, please. I don't know you, but look at me. Three things the Lord is going to do for you. Number one, God is going to change your financial story in a way that will surprise you. Number two, who is sick? Somebody is seriously sick in your family. It's my husband. I have. It's your husband. Because this is what I'm seeing. This is what is sugar? Sugar. Yes, yes. What is sugar? What is sugar? I'm hearing sugar. Diabetes. Diabetes. Yes. Do, you, do I know him? Have I met your husband? I'm hearing sugar. The Holy Spirit is telling me sugar. Diabetes. Is that correct? 
I'm going. I'm BP, BP. I'm BP. Look at me. The third thing God is going to do. Uh, are you building? Are you building? Madam, look at me. Yes. Are you? Yes. The Lord is saying that building will be completed. Yes. These three things. Hallelujah. Are you listening to me? Because you have lifted this seed. Many of you. See. <laughs> Father, visit her right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Visit families by the power of the Holy Ghost. Visit families. In the name of Jesus. See, I tell you, I'm not going to touch everybody. But if I do touch you, just know that God has visited you. It doesn't matter what the situation is. It will bow to the name of Jesus Christ. Bring his sister for me, this one. Yes, come. Did I lay hands on you? It's time for God to visit you. Are you listening to me? Take it. It's over. Whatever it is, it's over. Right now. This fair lady, come, please. I don't know what is it. Come. Don't see. You people should not be angry at God. God, it, I must not touch you. Do you understand? You can see that we don't have all of the time. Eh? Look at me. I'm going to end a lot of things in your life. Seven things in total. One by one, God is going to show you. Five of them. You wrote... You wrote seven prayer points. Yes, sir. How many prayer points did you? Seven. The Lord says seven things is visiting you and is bringing on. Was I there when you wrote it? Seven things you wrote. Seven things the Lord is visiting them. Lord, that is it. It ends right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Seven things the Lord is visiting you. Somebody wrote 13 prayer points. 13. 13. 13. You wrote 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 13. Who is that? Come. You are the one. Come. Was I there when you were writing it? 13 prayer points. 13 prayer points. What did you write about your father? My family. Yes. Peace in my family. Peace in your family. There is fight. Was I there when you wrote it? What did you write about the issue of money? Last week when I went home, my sister was complaining that there is... Because I'm seeing the Lord is showing me your prayer points. That's why I'm reading it to you. Was I there? There's no money. You went home. Even transport to come back. I followed somebody. Somebody gave me a lift. This is, I, I, God said I should do it to prove to you that this is not just guesswork. My God, in the name of Jesus, locates this lady. Your situation ends once and for all. Regina, 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 Regina. Who is Regina? Regina. Ah. No, Regina. Don't miss your miracle. You are Regina. You. Ah. No, this Regina is here. Your name is Regina. Where is your mother? She's in Lagos. What's wrong with her? I don't know. Pray for your mother. Eh? Because this is an attack I'm seeing on her. Eh? This is an attack I'm seeing on her. Be careful. Don't let any lecturer talk stories and ask you to come and visit him in the night. Does it make sense to you? Yes, sir. Does it make sense to you? Believe it. Eh? And then get into God with all your heart. Are you listening to me? I want to pray for you. This lackadaisical Christian attitude become a genuine Christian right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Grace to pray. Grace. Taiwo, God is visiting your mother. Just look at me. God is visiting your mother. Lord, visit her in the name of Jesus Christ. Right from here. Just as a point of contact, God is touching her in Lagos. Visit her in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Visit her. This, this girl, eh? Bring this lady crying. Lord, end this captivity in the name of Jesus. This lady's family do a lot of diabolic things. Are you listening to me? And they have put they have put things in this girl as a medium. This girl you are seeing, she's not the person you are seeing standing here. Hmm? This girl is very old. She's not as young as you are seeing, as in 
I mean in the spirit realm. I'm seeing somebody that is up to 800 years old. Hallelujah. Are you saying, look at, look at this. Bring her. This is what is wrong. They, they invoke spirits of ancestors into this girl. Come and stand here. Because they did it in such a way. Listen, they did it in such a way. And this is the invocation that no matter how much you are a man of God, you will not see it. This is what they did. Look at, I've seen it. I'm seeing it in the spirit. Look at, this is why this cry is happening. They, they programmed it. I don't know how it is. Many men of God have attended to this lady. They didn't see it. I don't know why. Because as I'm standing now, I'm seeing a tree. This is a tree I'm seeing, a very tall tree. Keep quiet. This lady, you see, she doesn't even know if this lady gets angry, she can beat even five guys put together. I listen to me. She, 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 I mean, beat you and put you on the ground that you will cry. Even her, right from a small age, she has been seeing this strange power. This is not normal. I need to rebuke that. Some of you are like that. You just think it's your family. You beat all your classmates in nursery school. Beat all your classmates. In, you are happy about it. Hallelujah. I have to set this girl free. I'm seeing rings on her legs, rings on her hands, uh, ring on her eyes, even on her eyes here. What kind of nonsense is this rubbish thing? Hmm? Keep quiet. This noisy spirit. You will go out now in the mighty name of Jesus. Hmm? Keep quiet. Keep quiet. Huh? Two of us won't be talking. You are going to leave. There is a legal access that is given to you. But the Bible says the captives of the mighty shall be delivered. And listen, leave her. Please leave her. Don't hold her. Look at me. Listen. Behave yourself right now. I'm going to rebuke this some it will create a ripple effect on all our family members because they mentioned their names as they were killing chicken this is what i'm seeing one by one they will mention their names and kill chicken leave her leave her leave her leave her come back just leave her she will come back by herself this thing is more than 800 years this is what i'm telling you am i wasting your time Am I wasting your time? Leave her, leave her. When she's done, she'll come and stand here. These are demonic things. Don't be distracted by all this drama. Let's concentrate on what God is doing, please. Mama, come. Come and stand here. Your time of visitation has come. I don't know what you came here for. Eh? your time of what did you come here for you are barren is that yes sir you are barren how many years 13 years i'm seeing one and three mm -hmm. how many years 13 years 13 years you have been barren your 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 situation has come to an end <laughs> hallelujah mm. lay your hands on your stomach what did the doctors tell you is in your stomach? Nothing. They will do scan, nothing. But you are feeling movement in your body. Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. In the night when you are sleeping, it will be as if a man wants to sleep with you. Yes, sir. A man comes to sleep yes, and it has even affected your relationship. Yes, sir. Eh? You don't even have affection for him. Yes, yes. Do you know me? No, sir. Have you ever seen me? No. Your time of freedom has come this night. Because this is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a stone, a stone inside your stomach. You used to have pain when you sleep. Sharp pain. This is a stone I'm seeing. Hmm? This thing is a demonic thing. Lay your hands. 
I open this womb right now. Let the womb take in by the power of take it right now. All right, it's time for you to go. Now, in the name of Jesus, I challenge you. Come and stand here. There's no time. See, demons can distract. If you waste time on them, they are going to distract you. Are you listening to me? All these things are distractions. Learn this. This is not just a place to receive. It's a place to learn. Many people focus. I'm not against all of but it's not necessary. We don't have all of this time. Are you listening to me? Come and stand here. Quickly come and stand here. It was finance, right? Okay. Let God solve somebody's problem right now. Listen. I release you into financial blessings. 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 Hallelujah. Pastor Jakes is going to come. Bishop Stan is going to come. They are going to speak prophecies into you. Hallelujah. I wish we had time. But as they speak, please receive. Hallelujah. They will speak and while I go up there. When they are done, we'll come and pray on your request. Can you wait a few more minutes? Can you wait a few minutes? Pastor Jackson. Okay. Please, ushers, just cast your offering. Cast your offering quickly. Ushers, all over. If there are no ushers, just be patient. Inside and outside. Please make sure you drop your money to only ushers. Hallelujah. Please lift up your hands. There's no time. Joining hands with Bishop and as we pray, whatever you desire, okay? Whatever giftings you've been trusting God to unlock in your life, whatever dimension of God you've been trusting God to push you into, as we pray corporately, the presence of God and the oil of God will be poured upon you in the name of Jesus. Father, thank you in Jesus' name. I give you praise in the name of Jesus. Even as you have declared through your servant, Lord, as we cast this seed, may it be an end to poverty and financial hardship in the name of Jesus. You cause doors to be opened for every family represented here in Jesus' name. We stand in agreement and rebuke devourer in the name of Jesus. Devourers in form of sickness, in form of accident, we rebuke you in Jesus' name. We set everyone free. Enter into your financial liberty in the name of Jesus. Marital liberty in the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me invite the ministers as we pray on the request. If you've not written your request, please write it here quickly. I want to, after this, I'm going to be inviting Uneku and his wife who are going to be dedicating and praying for their child. Hallelujah. And any other woman with child here, you're going to come out with your child. We're going to pray and speak protection after I do that very quickly. Hallelujah. Please. Very quickly. Stretch your hands while you are seated. You don't need to stand up. Stretch your hands as we pray on this request. Go ahead and pray. Father, we pray that you visit your people. Visit your people, oh God. Visit your people. Visit your people. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, visit families in the name of Jesus. Grant every spiritual blessing that your people are asking for. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus. We pray that every prayer point here, Lord, is answered in the name of Jesus. 
We release the angels of God to bring answers and solutions to needs in the name of Jesus. Let breakthroughs come, academic blessings in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray for businesses. We ask that prayer points here about businesses, that the Lord will open up doors in the name of Jesus Christ. We ask for healing. We release the healing of God upon your lives in the name of Jesus Christ. We bring salvation into your family. The Lord visits your family in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord blesses you with peace joy in the name of jesus christ of nazareth refreshing comes from the presence of the lord refreshing comes from the presence of the lord in the name of jesus christ of nazareth every closed gate is open in the name of jesus christ of nazareth every dark cloud is rolled away in the name of jesus christ of nazareth father we thank you we give you praise we celebrate you in our lives in the name of jesus christ of nazareth hallelujah put your hands together for the lord Hallelujah. Please quickly, quickly, quickly. All the children, quickly, quickly. Please save time. We just have about five minutes or so and we're out of. Celebrate them as they come if you know God will give you children. Please come and line up here quickly, quickly. Great are you, Lord. Greatly to be praised. All the earth will sing. Father, you reign. Great are you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, let me pray. Please, Uneku, come up with your wife. How many of you remember them? Worship team. Come on, celebrate your own. Technical, celebrate your own too. See, they are all seated together. Is that where they met? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everybody stretch your hands towards them. This baby is a miracle baby. I tell you. I was there in the hospital. I didn't even know the baby was on the bed. I said, where is the baby? Hallelujah. Stretch your hands and pray. Rebuke the hand of Satan. Do it as though you are praying for your own child. Rebuke the hands of Satan. This baby is blessed. Growing normally. Daddy and mommy are healthy. In the name of Jesus. We dedicate this child in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. This child will grow in wisdom, in stature, and in favor with God and with men. We command this child to be an ambassador. We program his destiny to glorify Christ alone. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I pray for peace in this house. This will only be the first child and not the only child. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Pastor Jakes and Bishop Stan, can I invite you just to come and lay hands on these children? hallelujah as we lay hands all three of us will lay hands you just lay hands i'll come back and lay hands on them as we lay hands on the children we rebuke the hands of satan we rebuke the hands of satan no let me lay hands on them before they go well we're, we're doing it all of us please very quickly these are instructions that god is giving we're not just doing these things carelessly any child any one child that has anything that is not of god we cancel it right now we cancel it right now Eh? in the name of the Lord Jesus may the Lord visit this child let his hearing be perfected in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ see how wicked Satan can be in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ these children are blessed where is he? bring him the boy ran away because this boy wants to kill himself. It's the spirit that wants to kill him. Where is he? I tell him to stand, but he went. You see what I told you, spirits? He ran away to where? Wherever he is right now, in the name that is above all names, may the Lord visit him. You will go back and you will come and testify. Hmm? I'm seeing the fire of God on him. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord visits him. You are standing on his behalf. In Jesus' name. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you. Uh -uh. Come out of this girl. Devil of darkness. 
May the Lord bless you. Madam, God is really visiting your family. May the Lord... Ah, you came out for yourself or for your child. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I prophesy upon your life. Please stand up, everybody. Be rounding up now. Every closed door in the name that is above all names, I open it right now. Every door of failure and disappointment in the mighty name of Jesus, let that door be open now. I pray right now. Any voice that is speaking against you and your destiny, I command those voices to be silenced right now. Whatever is stopping your spiritual development, whatever is stopping your passion for God, one leg in, one leg out, I pray, I release encounters to your life. Encounters with angels. Encounters of heaven. Visions and revelations. Dramatic encounters with Jesus Christ. I pray for the spirit of prayer. May it come upon you in a mighty way. Who is this? Oh, see the boy is back. Come. Look at me. How are you? The Lord will set you free. Huh? You love Jesus. Look at me, look at me. You love Jesus. Do you like what happens to your life? Huh? Are you tired of it? Look at me. Are you tired of it? Huh? You want to be free from it? Huh? Madam, it's not this boy that is doing these things. Are you listening to me? This is a suicidal spirit. Huh? This is demonic. Because this boy is destined to be great. Are you seeing... And this is why the devil wants to destroy him. Hmm? Look at me, my brother. Why did you go away? Okay. He doesn't even know why he left. Hallelujah. The mighty name of Jesus Christ, that devil of darkness. Your time in this boy's body is over. The fire of the Holy Ghost against you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm praying for you right now. Who is Bulus? It's his uncle. Bulus is his uncle. Do, you, do I know Bulus? Where is he? Hold my hands. Father, I pray that the wickedness of men will not catch up with this boy. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, my God and my King, I pray for a dramatic visitation. Look at me. Look at me. Go to church. Join a fellowship. Huh? These bad guys that are around you, they will destroy you. I cancel your appetite for them. They are, they are, trying, to, they are trying to introduce you into wheat and all of this nonsense. You will not have appetite for any of these things. Hmm? You will become an obedient and a respectful child. This hardened heart this night has been replaced with the heart of stone salvation comes to this family in the name of the lord jesus christ in the name of the lord jesus christ rahila who is rahila do you know anybody called rahila what is i mean well i'm hearing the name rahila this is your daughter come how are you my dear hold my hands see a mystery i'm going to be praying for you but is that your sister that is going hold, hold on don't tell me I, I don't want you to tell me hmm? don't tell me don't worry that's your sister dear i'm seeing light is leaving you and is entering i'm going to pray for you but the prayer is going to affect her hold my hands i set you free right now i set you free right now lose lose her from that chain 
be loose right now. Let the fire of the Holy Spirit. There is deliverance going on in your family right now. I don't know why this is happening, but God is bringing you. Through. Thank you, Jesus. Brother, look at me. Please be a gentleman, okay? Be a gentleman. Love God. Be serious with your life. You are a healer. Okay. Well, you came out. Let me pray for you. The, the Lord is not giving me anything exactly. What do you want the Lord to do for you? Ah, you don't know. I'll just pray generally for you. Go. Is that okay? Lay your hands on your chest. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I command favor to your life. I command favor. Favor. Favor is one blessing that the Lord has given us here. I release it into your life right now. Yeah. Whatever has been a challenge for you, may God speak it. Yeah. Listen, when God speaks over your situation, that's all it ends. If you are here, I didn't call your case, but you came with an expectation right now in the name of Jesus, I pray for you. May the Lord visit you at that point of your need. Yeah. Every habit here that is not of God, masturbation, pornography, all of these devilish things that are destroying people, I cast it out of your life forever. Amen. I cast it out of your life forever. Amen. It will not return again. I cast it out. I cast it out of your life. Every form of immorality that stops you from entering the dimension God wants to take you, I release grace upon you. To walk in genuine holiness and purity. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for your parents and your loved ones. As God visits you here, may he visit them. As God visits you here, may he visit them. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. As we step into the seventh month, may it be a time of perfection for you. May it be a time of perfection for you. May it be a time of perfection for you. What you have not accomplished from January to June, accomplish it in July. I command promotion. I command promotion. All of you in ministry, I pray that you will see a greater anointing in your ministries. I release greater fire in your fellowships, in your churches, in your ministries. Let devils be casted out. Let the sick be healed. Let sinners be saved in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I command increase and expansion for ministries here in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. All of you planning for marriage, I command whatever resource you need, I release it for you. Even if the man has not come, I bring him into your life. Even if the woman has not come, I bring her into your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now, inside and outside, this is an opportunity for those who have never given their hearts to the Lord. Please stand up. Everybody keep standing, please. Hallelujah. The greatest miracle that can happen in this place is that you are translated from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of God's dear son. You have seen the miracles and all of these things. But there are many of us that need to make a decision for the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And right now, as we begin to clap, I'll count one to five. Praise God. Inside and outside, please give them space. Inside and outside. I want you to come before the Lord here. You've never given your heart to the Lord or you made a decision for Jesus once. You made a decision for Jesus once. But you found yourself derailing. Please come out and stand here in the name of Jesus. Please, leave your seat and come out. Appreciate them. They are coming. God bless you. Please rush, rush, run, run, run. Don't be afraid. 
God bless you as you come. God bless you as you come. Don't be ashamed inside and outside. God bless you as you come. They are coming. Koinonia, celebrate them. Outside, make sure you don't stay back. Don't let any devil rob you of the greatest blessing. Keep coming. Keep coming. Young and old, keep coming. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Keep coming. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, when I do this, Selena and my sister and their roommates, please you come and stand. I'll pray for you. Hallelujah. All of you. Hallelujah. Now lift your hands, those of you in front. Thank you so much for coming. See after me, Lord Jesus. I love you. I believe you died for me. I believe you rose again for me. I receive eternal life into my spirit. I declare that I'm born again. I'm saved. Jesus is Lord of my life. I denounce sin and Satan from today. The Holy Spirit lives in me. I have eternal life and the gift of righteousness. And I will reign in this life. And I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit that I will never be the same again. My life is transformed in the name of Jesus. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.